didn't want to get my teriyaki sauce on this hand wraps. Because she was using chopsticks. Hey guys, uh, welcome to Recipe for Disaster. Appreciate your patience tonight. We did get started a, a little bit later than normal, um, but we are definitely going right now um, ish. I'm having some problems with the background audio, so you're going to hear me clicking on some things while I'm trying to get that figured out. Sure, we're doing it now? Ah, looks like it just went. Okay, so. Um, want to just jump in real quick to announcements. Um, I had a great time on Saturday. Evidently, there was a author thing at the uh, oh, library yes. here in Modesto. It was a lot of fun. Uh, Christine and I both showed up to that. Um, I watched your kids. <laughs> good fun to be had by all. It was good. His kids. Oh. Yes, my kids. Three I heard of her kids. Oh. Well, you know, George can't talk, so, you know. <laughs> Anyone else have any other announcements? Trevor. Yes, so we finally got uh, caught up on YouTube with where we are in the campaign. So our posting frequency on YouTube, I am looking at it. George, <laughs> I swear to God, the next time you do it, I'm going to break your finger. Um, <laughs> YouTube. 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 <laughs> <laughs> where we are in the campaign, so after that, uh, episodes of this show will be posted on Wednesdays. Is the goal at noon, and uh, <coughs> provided there's no hiccups with electronics and network and stuff like that. Um, and other than that, I will be posting two episodes of Fortune Favors the Board weekly until we get caught up on that. Uh, one on Mondays, so starting tomorrow, and uh, the other on Saturday. Okay. Um. Speaking of fortune favors, uh, Ryan or Trevor, which one wants to talk about it? Ryan. Fortune favors the board is a Thursday night show where we go on usually Ryan? around eight thirty. <coughs> Ryan thirty. Yes. Are you connected to your actual like? Oh, oh. I'm not. <laughs> there's there's multiple microphones. Woo. Here. Anyways, uh, what? I've so, been busy. So Thursday night is. Uh, night where we stream board games. We start around 8.30 and the last episode we stream... Strum. Strum. What the hell did we stream? I forget. <laughs> uh, I, don't I was know there too. I don't Thursday. know why I forgot. Um. Um, but anyways, yeah, it's a, it's a fun time. And we usually like, go over the way the, the games are played and whatnot. Talk about it afterwards, what we think about it. And just kind of have a good time regardless. And it's much more... Uh, Easy going than this show is. I mean, this show is easy going for sure, but it's uh, less requirements going on, for it, which is nice. You don't have to be in character the whole time. So seven thirty Thursdays. Actually, Roth sorry, eight thirty. Eight thirty Thursdays. Eight thirty. Space case. Eight thirty Thursdays. Okay, Ish. it's around. Quasi. About nine o'clock. Any announcements? Yeah, like um, um, we're supposed to like uh, sort of pick whether or not we want buttons or. Or, or patches uh, from Gothmom. Yes. Buttons. I believe the answer that I said last week was yes. Well, <laughs> she's, she's not going to do both. So, pick. <laughs> <coughs> well, Buttons. I need we can do a group two right HOH patches. Mm -hmm. Okay, so patches. Um, and then, if people want, and Rafa wants at least one button. I think, I feel like buttons... So for tell you what, we'll, we'll do the stream with buttons, and, and then I'll, the I'll pay her extra for the patches. Okay. Yeah, worked it out. And That's you true. know, those of you actually watching, like, uh, you know, these buttons are, are not exclusively for the the uh, broadcast participants. So, uh, you know, they are merchandise. Yeah. So feel free to let us know if you want them. We'll come up with a pricing list, and uh, we will. Ship them out to you. Okay. So, so uh, what was the? Uh, It'll be the R four D logo. No, the the what's the name of the of the Etsy? Oh, Goth Goth Mom. Mom. Goth Mom. Um Also, or you could just go out to Gothmom directly and order them once we <laughs> give her the design. So right. that that should be fine. Uh, I believe, and if she decides she doesn't want to do it that way, let us know. Anyway, she's pretty chill. Um, George, any announcements? Okay, so. 
As mentioned last week, we do have Patreon up and running. Uh, we do have a video out there. Woohoo! Uh, one video. Uh, Ryan, uh, uh. we need you to start working on those no, on those other videos. On okay, perfect. Um, and we'll have another one as soon as Rafa and I can be in the same place at the same time. Speaking of Rafa, as you can tell, he is not in the studio today. So we Wait, are going it? to be shooting this sans Rafa. He's tonight. hiding in the bathroom. Um, so those of you that <laughs> tuned in to see Rafa, I'm sorry, Rafa's not here. Um, yes, but TV. stay because the rest of us are. And come on, come on, really? For Rafa? That's Thursday night show. Not so. Anyway. <laughs> um, so yeah. So uh, if there's no other announcements at this point, I, uh, I just want to reiterate real quick my YouTube announcement since my mic wasn't actually on me. Oh right, yes, Trevor, take two. Yes, uh, just uh, real quick. Uh, we're caught up on all of the episodes up until tonight on YouTube now. Uh, new episodes of Recipes for Disaster will be uh, uploaded to YouTube Wednesdays. And uh, in the meantime, we'll have two episodes weekly of Fortune Favorite the Board until we get caught up on those, uh, once on Mondays and once on Saturdays. Okay. Um, real quick, forgot to say them. Um, say something about Four Eyes Ales. So Four Eyes Ales is based in the Bay Area. Uh, they've actually been supplying us with quite a lot of beer, and it's actually been really good beer as well. Uh, Sure. Do your thing. Uh, but yeah, that's the logo right there as well as their An official picture or official brand. I don't know. Anyways. Logo? Uh, what's that? A logo? Logo. Yes. Is that the word you're looking for? Sure. Uh, anyways, yeah, they're, they're really good beer. We've tried quite a bit of theirs. My personal favorite was probably the most recent one we tried, <laughs> uh, but also the horchata ale was really good. We're supposed to be getting that for the next time we're streaming on Fortune Pigs the Board. I don't know if we'll have it for this show, but this should be pretty good then too. Yeah. Uh, it's not. I don't think it's going to be sure. the, the uh, same exact horchata beer. Uh, it should still be really good beer. Okay. Um, quite see. Custom orders too. Sorry. Say something about enduring films. We own enduring the studio. Enduring films. <laughs> you are not quite C. So thank the gods. <laughs> you shut up. <laughs> So, Enduring Films is incredible. They let us use their studio. They provide technical assistance. Um, the the head of Enduring Films, Chuck, you've seen his um, you've seen his ass on camera a couple of times. <laughs> well, at least his head. Maybe his balls. No, no. Too. Thank you, Chuck. There was a time he walked right in front of like the, the oh, camera, yes, at, like yes, at yeah, level. Yeah, shot. That's right. There was. There's there also was times where he's just stood in the background where you could see him and just yelling at everyone. Yeah. You can hear him. Sure. But uh, you know, he is he's salt of the earth, he's solid, he does great work. And you know what? Like he looks like the grown up version of Charlie Brown. So yeah. Okay, and, and his name is Chuck. And his name's Chuck, which goes goes for you know, what's, what's up, up Chuck? Chuck? Well anyway. it's funny because his name's actually Charles, so it works with Charlie Brown. As well. Yeah. yeah. So, Trevor. Mm. Epic Worlds and Games, tell us something about him. Well, they're out in Copperopolis in the central valley of California. If you are ever in the area, uh, go ahead and stop by. Try to talk to Jimmy. He's hey, Jimmy. usually the one of the only people there, as far as I'm aware. I don't well, think he's he's no, he has. Right? A, he does have like three employees. He's up to three now. He's up to three. And wow. um, if you go to Copperopolis, there is like a farm stand on oh, on the road over there that uh, you can get a bag of onions for like three dollars. So get yourself a bag of onions, bite into them, go introduce yourself to Jimmy, tell <laughs> him that we sent you, uh, <laughs> and check out all of the board and card games that he has there. Uh, he has uh, usually free demos that you guys can try out if you're interested in playing a game but don't know if you want to go all the way to spend money for it yet. Uh, it's a good way to familiarize yourself with a new game. Um, Okay, and uh, George, real quick, and I did this on purpose, tell us something about Goth Mom. Have you been paying attention? No. Okay. Goth Mom, pins, buttons, Etsy, look her up, she does amazing things. Also has a 3D printer, she makes keychains. Great what source. Memorize that for next time. Okay, yep, I believe that is all of the... All of the announcements, <laughs> and uh, we, let's get started on this week's episode of Recipe for Disaster. So.
So guys, uh, when last we met, you had quite the encounter. Um, Fourth of July, the firewa- firewalks. Fireworks were going off. Uh, <laughs> fireworks. And, and to, to start the night off with mayhem, the cat, I mean Dustin, escaped the from the bus. Uh, he ran off, and while the group was deciding what to do about that, if they should go find him or not. They were having some other meaningful discussions um, in the interim. Um, He ran into some problems. Once the group decided to actually find him, the lost pussy, um, they they did find him hunched over a tree, tree stump in the middle of a clearing, and they encountered Predator along with a few other things and Steve. After short work, I think it was like what a ten you know, ten round combat? If that? They knew five five, yeah, five rounds. Is, I think if we're counting three and a half one round um, each after very, time. very short combat, uh, they managed to capture Predator and they uh, took him back with them and they had Steve take him to the FBI. We are leaving we left off that group with them getting back to the bus. <laughs> it seems like that is the ending of almost every episode so far. And you guys make your way back to the bus. Um, so that's where we're going to start up. Uh, you guys had Actually, no, we, we made our way to Oklahoma City. Oh, right. Yeah. Oklahoma yeah. City. Thank and you. We on the Thank you. Thank we you. On the bus. See? <laughs> this, is, this is why I asked. Um, so you guys made your way to Oklahoma City. You did find um, Agent... Baudry. Baudry, sorry. My notes, normally, that I have right in front of me are somewhere else. He left them at home today, folks. Agent um, Janet. Yes. So so you, you guys found Agent Baudry. Um, she was in the hospital. You guys were able to, with the the uh, help of some, we were fi- able some to fine, fine good prayers and... Thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and, and prayers. And help. She was healed, and you guys whisked her out of the hospital, back to your bus, um, found out that there were two people sent after her um, that no one has been able to be in communications <laughs> with since, and uh, you guys were mounting plans to figure out what you were going to do. I believe she and I were supposed to head over there to the parking garage to keep tracking them. Um, I don't know if you guys were talking about splitting the group up again or not. Uh, la- but we did leave you all on the bus at the end of the episode, deciding Actually, I think what your plan of action was going to be. I think we were going to go to Costco again to go buy the proper shoes for them. Yeah. I think we were on our way there. Like, there was only three of us doing that, I think. It was right, me and Barn. No, I think it was four of us. I think it was me, Bill Sender, you, and her that were all done. Okay, so now, me and the preacher stayed in the bus. We're going to actually retcon a little bit with yeah. Bill Sender not being here tonight, or Rafa not being here tonight. Bill and uh, Agent Baudry uh, are going to go on their own. Well, they had to, to go get to her. get. She had to cr- pick up her credentials. Uh, yeah. yeah, she had to pick up her credentials and to get appropriate clothing. Right. Although she was very appreciative of the clothing that you did pick up for her, <laughs> um, she decided she did need to have some slightly better clothes. So the two of them are going to go off. And, and Winfield wants uh, him to learn how to use a gun. Yes. So the two of them are going to go off and do all of that. Um, so for the viewers, you guys will be able to witness that when Rafa and I get together. We will role play out through that as well as the previous thing that Rafa and I need to do that. That will be on Patreon. So Hopefully soon. Hopefully soon, as soon as Rafa's schedule and my schedule coincide. <coughs> that being said, the rest of you guys... What are you guys going to do? I know you guys were talking about going to where she had been attacked. She wrote down exactly where that was. Um, and I don't know if you had any other plans of anything else. Uber? So. What's Uber there? Really What's bus? Uber? Yeah, like a big Horkin tour bus. Yeah, Bob's like, it's best to leave the bus here. And we've got the, it's all extended outward. You know, I mean, I wouldn't mind driving it, but. Hey, preacher. What's Uber? It's a ride for pay service that you use over the internet instead of hailing a taxi. Let's go. A rickshaw. Bob looks at Dustin and goes, It's French. 
No flood. <laughs> Who bear? Right, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, get an Uber downtown okay. or wherever. Well, I think it was downtown though. Yeah, you guys is luck with Uber. So let me see here. The last time you guys took one, you, you rested. <laughs> okay, so um, <laughs> not only did we rest somebody, we rested that driver's dad. Dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys hail an Uber. Um, Bob actually does that for you. He's like, I'll take care of this, and he. Hails one and another black sedan or black um, SUV pulls up for you guys to. Is it a tinted windows? Heavy yes, tinted black tinted windows. windows. Ah, okay, so it looks like a government vehicle. Yeah, it looks like it could be just like the last one that you guys had oh, in Slocum. Okay. Interesting. Except, Gloves on. Except the different license plates because you're in a different state. Right, yeah. and it also yeah. would show the person's face. Yeah, it would show the person's face on the app, yeah. but not on the car. Right. Yeah. Yeah. What? But, but on the Cars car, don't display on, on, on their the car, drivers? it does say Uber, you right. know, right. in pink letters up on the... Gloves on, hood pulled way down. Way down. Okay. Still got my trench coat on. Shotgun. So, so you guys get into the Uber. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Is it the same guy? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, he didn't follow you from Slocum okay. to here. No, no, I mean, the same guy... Um, yes, okay. yes. The, the picture does match, though it's not a guy; it's a girl. Um, but yeah, it's it's a lady. She looks up. Morning, ma'am. Morning. Top of the morning. morning. Yeah. So where I'll be taking? I mean, it, it says you guys are going downtown near the courthouse. Is that the place you're going? Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, I think I think we. Have She's to a rather uh, average-looking lady with mousy brown hair and glasses and. What was her name? Smartly dressed. Have they already uh, Her left? name was Denise. And your last name? Last name is Bradshaw. Okay. Have they already left? Who? who? Uh, Janet and... Yes. Okay. Janet and Bill went for a walk first to and said shoes. that they would get a... Uh, they would get an Uber. They had to do some discussion of things, and so they're walking out before they picked up their cab or ride chair. Gotcha. So, John, I'll pick up spot, like, two blocks away and just pick the corner. Okay. Corner of um, such and such and such and such. Okay. And she drives you there. Any discussion while you're on the road on the way to your destination? Sure, just local news. So, we just got into I, town. What's been like going on? You guys, but okay. Oh. <laughs> that works too. Um, you can talk to the you know, Uber driver. You know, yeah, Um. so not much. Uh, just, you know, there was that shootout down in the area that you guys want to go. Uh, sure, so yeah. a, little, a little surprise that you guys wanted to go down Shoot there. Out. That was on all the TV. Have you I don't watch watching? much TV. Oh, I don't. I've, yeah, I don't uh, get to see too much TV. Oh, He's okay. Blind. Yeah, yeah. No, no. There was. Oh, bless your heart. Sorry <laughs> about that. Um, I didn't know. Um, so yeah, so there was there was some <laughs> game shooting at a federal agent in in, in that parking garage. How long ago was that? A day, maybe two. Huh. We were in Alabama. Oh, well, okay. I think it hit national news. CNN had like five or six reporters there. We've been on the road. Quite a bit. Oh, obviously, yeah, the bus. Sorry about that. And Aside the from that, there isn't a, there isn't a lot to... <sighs> you know, just, just usual day. Don't get shot, don't get mugged. That's that's what I always say. That's a good call. <laughs> I don't think we'll have a problem with that. None of you guys are planning on doing any of those two things, right? No. Just joking. Curious, As he pulls his hood even further down. <laughs> has that happened a lot to you? No, but normally I don't have people get in the in the car and, and try to conceal their features a little bit more than normal. Well, if it makes you feel any better, the last person who tried to love me ended up giving me about uh, 20 or so cases of alcohol. Good night. Wow. Okay. So so your motto is a little different than mine. Do get mugged, don't get shot. Wait, okay. you needed to share any of that alcohol with me? No, you were asleep. You just started to go off to your parents. True. But you could have kept some. Why? Well, nah. I <laughs> thought I did, but uh, I guess Bob let uh, whoever, someone walked off with it. Yeah, what's up with the number on your arm? I have a number yeah. on my arm? I. Jack, let's be very honest. He drank all of it. You're an alcoholic. I have no idea if that's entirely possible, though. My goal was to uh, drink the apathy away. Well, you had plenty of that. You drank it all. And vomit. And oil. What do you say? He has a number on his own? 
Yes, she does. You should check on it for and see what it see your answers. Oh, Why? very charming young Why? lady. What charming young? No, I can't speak. What charming young lady? Well, young woman driving. Well, she wasn't a Maynard. That's all I know. Anyway, uh, uh, it was a, a young lady that uh, spent the night with uh, Jack, consuming his alcohol. Also, oh, had some assistance. Kind of so when's the wedding? Well, it's too late. She's rocking out Obama. So you guys pull up to the uh, spot. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, we're here. Well, pleasure riding with you. Pleasure's all mine. Mm-hmm. Hit me up if you need another one. Just uh, you know, use the app and look for my name. I'll be driving around this area all day. But seriously, quick. when did I get a number on my arm? Most likely that night. Mm-hmm. Which arm is it? Yes, Oklahoma City. Yeah, right here. Been, it's been on your arm ever since okay you woke up from that drunken stupor. Oh. A- as he gets out, the tip of his tail kind of dips out a little bit. Wait, so you mean to tell me that we arrested you have that no guy? no idea if she notices or not. And I had an o- a number on my arm the entire time? Yes. Mm-hmm. Huh. I'm going to try calling that number. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Um, goes to a voicemail. Name? Um, thank you for calling. And lists the number. That's it. Doesn't list a name. Oh. Please leave a message. You know, it's like the standard. I would take generic. that number. It's like uh, I'm just gonna pull the phone up to Jack and say, "Hey, Jack, say something." Something. <laughs> 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 So you guys are at the corner. Walk See the, the main the the downtown offices for the police, state police are across the street from where you're at, and there's a parking garage. You see all sorts of police tape blocking off the parking garage sign saying "garage closed." <laughs> Basically telling us not to go in the group. But I don't see any of such signs. <laughs> well, John. You know, You're lying, that's why. the first rule of uh, of attracting attention is behaving as if you don't belong, so we'll just walk past the police tape as if it's nothing. Are there okay. actually any beat cops around? I don't know. Hi. Why do you care? We belong here. Yes. Stop giving away yes, our positions. No, just so we can chat with them. See if no, we do not there, chat there with are, them. There are a couple people, as you guys are, you know, go dip underneath it. Do I uh, hear Come on, Chuck! flapping in a slight breeze or anything like that? Yeah, I mean, you, you hear the tape pulled across all the entryways. I'm still going to hold it up for him so he can go under it comfortably. Um, you really guys duck it. under. Uh, okay. You guys get like 10, 15 feet into the parking garage. You hear from like somewhere deeper in. Excuse me! Can't come in here. Sorry. Feds. Sure you are. Can I see some credentials? Who do I see? Uh, you see a police officer come walking up. Uh, he's wearing, I mean, it says Oklahoma City Police on his jacket. He's got a badge. He's in uniform. Alter emotions. Hold up. Too late. Okay. That's a nine for belief. Okay. Excuse me, boy, we've got business here. And, and as soon as I see some credentials, there was a federal agent that was shot here. You know, we need to need well, to make sure that you are who you guys are. You say you are. I mean, Hoodie Boy says that you're federal agents. I'm going to pull out Winfield's business card because he has his own clients. Okay. And I'm going to hand it to him and say, this is our boss call. Don't mind if I... J- just give me a second. Okay, dispatch, I need you to place a call to this number. Thank you. Yeah, I just I've got a couple uh four. Four people here that uh say that they work for him and they are at Yes, you know where I'm at. That's where yeah. Yeah, okay. You heard the whole conversation and essentially you can pretty much guess what was said in, in the middle of there. It's like they're at they're yes, I know where you're at. They were talking about having cakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cake, cakes and tea, actually. So, so you'd have heard the whole thing back and forth. Um, the dispatcher, well, yes, I know that you're just across the street from where I'm at. You know, that sort of thing, back and forth. Um, okay, uh, yeah, if you could just give me a few moments while my dispatch calls. Um, 
Do they want to come over and join us? No, dispatch stays behind the desk. Are you sure you're a federal agent? You kind of, that's something you'd know. Oh, I understand that, but sometimes uh, communication in person is a lot easier than having to go through all the trouble. He's new to the job. Calls. Right. How is, uh... It's going to take a few moments. Name. <laughs> uh, he's just fine, as far as I know. I only talked to him over the radio. Wait, did you actually get the name? Because I thought it would just be Dispatch. I assume he took a couple steps away from us and yeah, he took had a couple an actual steps. conversation. Yeah, oh, okay. he had an actual conversation. Gotcha. Could I hear any of it? Do you have enhanced hearing? No, we're fine. <laughs> then no. I mean, you can roll. You can definitely roll. You know. Feel free to roll. Are there any cars 19? The yeah, no. You'd heard nothing. I mean, you heard him breathing kind of heavy. You know, um... Cars driving back and forth. A really loud motorcycle about four blocks away. <laughs> you know. And you think you have an enhanced hearing so you go... <laughs> Your ears perk up. Oh, I've got to hold the hood down. Um, <laughs> um, a few moments later, he's like, one moment. Yeah. Okay, so he says, very well, I will accompany them. We heard on the other hand is, yeah, no, they're legitimate. But you seem surprised. You need, to, you need to make sure that they don't get into any problems. I will accompany them. It's not every day I have four agents come in in plain clothes and disheveled clothes. We're undercover. And hey, they're washed. Come on, come along with us. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I'm, I'm going to go with you guys just to make sure if there's any questions you have or if anything needs done or if you need or if someone needs to be arrested that you have me with you so you guys hey, don't John. have to. We're so, about running uh, out of handcuffs. We go to the next ba the exact spot that Beaudry described. Okay, yeah. So you guys walk up to, as you're going up through, you see quite a few cars still there. <laughs> quite a few bullet holes in them. <laughs> um, more bullet holes in the cars the farther up you go to the third floor where she had parked her car. Well, it certainly wasn't silhouette. Silhouette never misses. Yeah, no, this looked like a, an exchange of gunfire. Mm -hmm. and, and the officer would be like, yeah, so uh, what you're seeing, in case you guys were wondering, is there were uh, about six Don't individuals Jack, coming in at three different places, shooting at the federal agent on the third floor. Um, and uh, she tried making her escape down this way, and it looks like all of the bullets seem to chase down in this direction. I would just uh, say that as I'm passing by cars, I'm wrapping them with my knuckles. Okay. To uh, get a, a visual. Okay. You're going to do it to every car or just a car? Every car. So after the first one, he's like, uh, can you, it's, it is an ongoing investigation. Right. Um, Disturbing the evidence. Might first of all, I'm, we I'm, I'm wearing gloves. Yeah, that's nice. I'm not, I didn't say for fingerprint reasons. But some of the bullets we haven't been able to retrieve out of all the vehicles yet. So if you knock them loose, we don't know exactly where they were, so we can't figure out the exact trajectory. I'm not going to be hitting them hard. I'm just... I'm, I'm letting you, John, know. Yeah, no, no, uh, I, I know. I'm just... Just enough for, for hypertouch yeah. to go off. Um, Tapping a car will not cause that to happen. Hey, I've I'm seen strange uh, things. You don't know that. Respect the... The person, this is their crime scene. I, I, Why don't you just stamp on the floor if you need to make some noise to, to echolocate Mr. Batman? Would that work for me? Yeah, just, just, I mean, I mean not Using as good as. Just physically hitting him? And any sound would help you with your enhanced hearing to figure out where you are. But with the hyper touch, it wouldn't. Um, hyper touch would give you a, a sense um, of. If the vehicle's running, if there's paint, you might even be able to feel some paint underneath paint jobs, things like that. If you feel like a... Or where the bullets are. I mean, that would be like if you ran your fingers over where the bullets were, you could then get an idea okay. of spiral and things like that. Well, if you uh, still need uh, to know where some of the bullets are or help in retrieving those and figuring out those trajectories, let me know. But okay. I will need to uh, physically examine 
the vehicles? Uh, well, those? there were approximately 60 different cars shot by all of these people shooting at the agent. I'm surprised she didn't die. I mean, there was a lot of bullets in her. She's fine. So, um, yeah, no, no, I heard this morning it was... Uh, She's a very good agent. Uh, yeah, no, we're, it, it, it's, it was impressive. Um, you know, thoughts and prayers, thoughts and prayers. You know, it's, it was all great. Exactly. So. Did, he, did he look at me when he said thoughts and prayers? No. Good. No, he just looked straight up like thoughts and prayers. You know, it was, we had a win. It was good. Hallelujah. That's Looking good. directly at you, yes, thoughts and prayers. Un- unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, uh, none of, the <laughs> unfortunately, she was a very good agent. Um, and I say that because none of the people that were shooting at her survived. So we don't know why all of this happened. Now how do you know that that was all the people that were shooting? Based on what we've seen here, there were about 18 gunmen total, three groups of six. Um, all the bullet trajectories from what we were able to figure out seem to support that theory that there were 18 people shooting at her and we pulled 18 bodies out of here. 19 if you count her, but she didn't die, so. Would she have explained on the bus about her uh, part of her face getting ripped off? Yes. She did? Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well then, uh, and it was her the whole body, wasn't it? Essentially was flayed? Or was it just her face? It was, um, face. It was her face it was that was flayed. Face. Well, then who would have... We're not, we're not, we're, we're, we're here to find a car. Did you, okay. fi- did you figure out who... Her car would be up this way. Did you figure out who maybe flayed her, her skin off the face? No, so that was the thing, is she, she was delirious when she was telling us what happened. Um, but according to, to what we were able to see, um, she never made it out of this parking garage. We found her body on the ground floor. Uh, in the ambulance, she said that she made it like several buildings away and then came back and it's just that does not the evidence does not seem to support that but that's it's neither here or there cameras? I'm not calling her a liar I'm just saying that we're still processing things why would you want a camera um, security camera footage of yes the there are security lot? camera You're footage not. and it's and they're they're being cycled through I didn't say for me it's being processed and this is uh, her car right here hyper smell checking for uh, different smells that might have roll. Just because I can't really examine the footage doesn't mean we 18. count. Okay, um, yeah, so there's all sorts of smells. What particular smell are you looking for? Uh, any of the Bilal agents we've come across, for starters? Uh, no. No? Um, what you do smell heavily is the, the smell of gasoline, um, the smell of gunpowder, um, the smell of oil, any smells that stick out that shouldn't be there? Uh, blood. Heated paint. Lots of blood. Um, heated paint? Yeah, so as you're looking at her car, it looks almost Swiss cheesed with bullets. Easily 100, 200 rounds were shot into her car. Remember, remember that <laughs> scene that was sunny in The Godfather? <laughs> I've never seen The Godfather. You've never seen The Godfather? No, I have not preached. George, are you saying this in... in <laughs> That's in character. in character. In character. Okay. I was about to say... <laughs> I've seen The Godfather a lot of times. Justin has not. There was a, there was a scene in a, a very good movie uh, where uh, this unfortunate soul is driving and he gets to uh, uh, one of those driving checkpoints where you have to pay the toll and stuff. And people run out and shoot his car full of bullets with machine guns. Mm. That fills him full of bullets, too. Um, however, oh, it's a crime. Yeah, but unlike that movie, these were all small caliber handguns. Really? Like nine, There was a 44 and a 45 used, but most of it was all 9 mils. The officer points out. Is he? Are, okay, are her car doors open? Uh, yeah. I mean, they're, they're, they're not wide open, but you can tell they're not latched. Doesn't well, look like they can be. Look, uh, is there anything in the driver's side or the, the back seat? I don't know. Ha. Yes, so you do see in the back seat, you see uh, what looks like a laptop bag. Mm-hmm. Um, and in the passenger seat, you see her purse. You grab the laptop, I'll grab the purse. Mm. All right, so uh, 
You were supposed to observe us uh, to maintain the chain of evidence. Yep. So we are here to retrieve her. Okay, so are you, do you guys all have gloves? I do. I obviously do. Right, so he pulls the latex gloves out also. So just put these over whatever gloves you're wearing. Just because, you know, leather Thank you oils can, can seep through. All right. <coughs> Hands pair to you, too. I do have a question. I help you put them on. <laughs> I have a question for you, I know how to yes. use uh, Would mechanical <laughs> construction, part of it being mechanical knowledge, by chance help me with understanding if any cars were maybe moved, driven, in the time frame that it would have been after the shootout? Because as she said, or she told um, the That would not be mechanical knowledge. Mechanical knowledge gives you the understanding of, of how like an engine is put together and, and how that goes together, or how the engine attaches to the axle and things like that. Yeah, the only thing I was thinking was in regards to the tire box. Um, that's, that's an investigation skill. Gotcha. Completely different skill. Gotcha. Um, now you guys can look around if you want to try to see if you can see stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That's perfectly fine. And if you want to, just make a make a perception roll and tell me that that's right. Investigation talking. six for tracking the area. Okay. John, while the police officer is watching these two uh, non-trained investigators <laughs> non -trained. with the crime scene, I'm going to pop up in the trunk. Okay. Uh, without keys. <laughs> without keys. <laughs> I know how to do these. <laughs> okay, make a roll to pop open the trunk. And then I had a question. I had oh, 12. Okay, yeah. No problem. He does, The officer does not seem to notice. I need a higher low from you, Kwesi. That'd be a low. Perfect. Thank you. One second. Uh... Can I make a roll to see if I remember where and when, roughly, uh, Janet said she left the parking garage from and direction and stuff like that that she moved in her story? Yes, you may make that roll. Uh, I 17. Rolled 17. What I rolled 19 for 19? the investigation. 9 for perception. Okay, so you're looking around. You see uh, there's all sorts of tire marks. I mean... Any leading to any of the cars that were... Um, on this floor, most of the cars are shot up. Gotcha. It's, it's like you're looking around, and, and yeah, there's some leading to some of these shot up cars. Go figure. Um, there are also some that leading to empty spots. Um, but it, as far as freshness goes, yeah, you couldn't tell how fresh they are. Um, they're not that dark, so, you know. Are there any blood stains? All over the place. Okay. Just making sure. Yeah, there's lots of blood <laughs> any, all around her car. Any, any blood stains in empty spots? <laughs> well, no, any blood stains. There, there, there is. There are a couple uh, police taped, you know, where the bodies hit the floor. <laughs> I had to say it. Um, <laughs> and there's blood stains within those as well. Gotcha. Um, Viewers, this is off? what happens when players watch too many hours of CSI <laughs> and think they can do that. <laughs> were, were they chalked off too? No, 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 no. Taped. Instead of chalk outline, they did a tape outline because that's more actual what they do. Anyway, <laughs> who do you I think had you are? Investigation. Okay, Agent so, so so you start looking around. No, um, there are lots of tire marks everywhere. There's lots of bullet holes and lots of things. Um, you can tell that this has been this area has been scoured by law enforcement by a CSI team. Because um, you can tell where there's some even impacts, you know, bullet impacts on the walls that there's no bullet that's easily, you know, readily seen. You can tell, I can tell they've been, where they've been pulled you out. You can tell they've been pulled out. Um, so, yeah, it, it looks like this has been thoroughly scoured. Um, so any particular clue left out in the open has probably been picked up already. Or blown away. Or, yeah. Meanwhile, uh... See, he said he was going to pick up the purse. Which yeah. he did. Well, then he, he started doing Well, he, he picked up the purse and then he started looking around. I mean, it didn't take mm -hmm. him long. The windows are all shut out. He'd easily be able to just snag the purse. And mm. Almost almost like he was trained to be a purse snatcher. You mean like a cat Go burglar? Figure. Yeah, like a cat burglar, Meow. if you will. Um, Trevor. I'm sorry, you'd, you'd ask me and I told you to make a roll and then I don't remember. I got a 17 
to recall her story okay, yes. of where she went, how she went, and how that ended. Okay, I'll get I'll follow up with you at the end then. Yeah. Okay, so you That's pop open the trunk. What I'm wanting to mm-hmm. investigate. Um and two things jump out at you immediately. Do I need to roll initiative? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not in that way. Oh. Um the first thing that, that that leaps out at you, if you will, figuratively. Um, is you see a metal briefcase in the trunk. Mm-hmm. The second thing is you see a Base. tube, a cardboard tube about that big around and about that long. So it takes up the trunk. Do I hear anything coming from these? Mm, no. So that's the that's what you see. It's, it's that big around. It's it's cardboard. Oh, it looks like a shipping tube, like mm-hmm. someone like a package that she picked up and put in her trunk. And it's laying in there diagonally, and then the uh, the briefcase is right on the. So apparently these cops weren't that good. Well, they hadn't <laughs> gone into the trunk yet. <laughs> they should have. I said the outside area was right. scoured. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, as far as the story goes, what you distinctly remember is that she said she made it back to her car and she'd just gotten in and suddenly people were shooting at, at her from everywhere. She barely made, was able to get out, ran down, uh, t- ran down a flight uh, or you know one, one floor mm-hmm. and then jumped out of, the, out of the nearest opening she could find and went a couple buildings away. And then make, went back to the building and worked away from top to bottom to make sure that everyone was taken care of that was trying to kill her. Nope. Top to bottom. I thought she had gotten to the roof of a building and that's when she was stabbed. In that story, she was stabbed on the roof of the building, but she, according to her, made her way down through while bleeding to the very bottom floor. And that was back at the top of the parking garage yes. that she was yeah. stabbed? She went out, got to the top of the parking garage, and got stabbed up there. Okay, I would and like... And then fleeing from the person that stabbed her, she made her way down through the parking garage. I would like... Um, I'm sorry, what was the agent's name that we're currently... Or officer? Okay. We're dealing with? did not give you his name. <laughs> what, what name do we see on his nameplate? What name did I get from his um, conversations? <laughs> uh, his last name is Cross. Cross. Uh, Officer Cross. Yes. Um, I, I uh, would like to do some investigation, uh, starting at the uh, top of this parking garage. Okay. Uh, if you wish to accompany me. I'm um, supposed to say, can we like all stay together, or should I call in for other people to assess? I mean, we do have other people. There are people up top. One of one of my uh, colleagues can come down and, and escort you up if you don't mind. Wait in just a few minutes. That's fine. Okay, uh, perfect. Just, uh, I hope they're understanding that I need to actually be able to physically examine. Oh uh, yeah, no, no, we're, we're not stopping you guys from. Is this from a traditional your parking? Job. Is this a traditional parking garage? Yeah. Or is it a it walled off one where you actually have? Balls in the way of no, out. it's a parking garage exclusively for hippies. <laughs> well, you never know. Um, it it it's not an outdoor or an open air parking garage like you'd see at hotels. The top floor would be. It's it's a it's a secured parking garage for law enforcement vehicles. So it's solid walls. That's what um, I want to know. There's occasional breaks between the walls from the stairwells and things like that to allow air flow into the into the parking garage, but it's not completely. It's not completely walled off, but it's not open air either. The top floor would be open air. I'm guessing probably the only other open air spots would be the stairwells. Yeah, stairwells would be open air, but that's about it. Officer Cross? Yeah, uh, one, one second. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Price, if you could come down here. Uh, we have, yeah, he want, uh, one of these guys wants to be escorted up to the roof. Uh, how many others, I mean, are you all staying together? Are you going split into groups? I just need to know how many more colleagues I need to call. Why don't you go with him? I'll stay here with Preacher. Sure. Okay. So, yeah, just, just you. Uh, that's fine. Yep. Yeah, I know the, and you're hearing the other side. 
Okay, uh, so do I need to bring anything? No, no, uh, just just a company with them. Standard protocol. So they're feds? Yeah, yeah, they're feds. Okay. So what'd you find in the trunk? So, yep, so so Price will be down here in just a few moments, and uh, she'll escort you around up top. Fantastic. Um, just real quick, is everybody up to date on the case itself? Uh, yeah, we, we, had a, we had a briefing trunk? this morning. Okay, just making sure. So, yeah. Yeah, well, so they, she should to be able to answer anything uh, I can. I figured I'd ask while I'm here. Oh we'll yeah, that's that. fine. You can't, uh, you can't see what's in the truck. Correct. And I Jack was asked to not uh, we'll touch the vehicles. Well, well we, we don't mind you touching the vehicles, but knocking on them, wrapping them, moving them, shaking them. You know, this vehicle's fine. Um, we've went through pretty much everything. We yeah. haven't opened those cases yet because the feds told us not to. No. And you're feds, so... Exactly. So shall we take it back to the investigation? Where, did the officer was? Well, we found a tube and a metal briefcase in the trunk. That's a Which locking. is what we were expecting. The, the officer is like, it's a locking metal briefcase. Just, sorry. Mm. Is it a locked metal briefcase? It's a locking. It's, it's got, like, combination. Yeah, we were, actually. From This is both... This is, this is Trevor not remembering how exactly it ended. Uh, Beaudry <laughs> gave a physical description of uh, what she had left in her car. Okay. So I don't need to examine those further. But what she did not give a description of was this metal briefcase or this the packing tube. tube. I'm, I'm just, that's Game Master players for those that don't remember. Okay. That's, she did not I'm, mention these I'm two things. I'm in character yeah, lying. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> If fantastic. that's not clear. <laughs> it wasn't, but that's okay. It is now. Uh, fantastic. Um, you want me to check just to make sure that they haven't been tampered with? Let them. Fine. Take a look. I'll uh, <laughs> run my hands along the exterior of the uh, briefcase first and feel what I can. Okay. Roll. <laughs> He's kind of a... Twelve? He's kind of a pervert that way. Mm-hmm. Oh, such a good briefcase. Anyway, um, <laughs> so it's a, it's a metal briefcase. Mm-hmm. Um, it is not like most Hollywood briefcases where it's all smooth with some ribbing in it. It's actually got that, that cross mesh to it. Ooh. So, um, like you... <laughs> like when we were playing poker... The briefcase that the chips are in, it's got that sort of top on it. Okay. Um, so it's, it's like a metal mesh feeling top. It's crisscross pattern. Oh, my chain mailbox. It's, uh, it's solid on the sides. There's uh, It's briefcase size. So it's a appropriately briefcase size as opposed to chip briefcase size. You know what I'm talking about. Right. So it's regular document size. You yeah. might, there might be a laptop or something in there. That sort of thing. Uh, and I cannot feel through to any contents. No, so uh, the the important thing to note for you is as you're as you're uh, using your hypertouch and, and you're feeling across it and, and you're sort of like m- you know sliding it and moving it and, and trying to get a feel for what may be in it. Um, any vibrations stop mm. after the surface, which would be indicative uh, indicative of like foam or yeah. some sort of packing thing in there to prevent things from moving around easily inside. What about tumblers? Um, there is a locking mechanism, so there would be tumblers um, in the locking mechanism. Does it itself. feel like it's one that's a combination? Or it's a, a combination. Oh, simple combination lock. We should be able to pick it. We shouldn't need to pick it at all. Yeah, so... Uh, oh, Agent Price, or Officer Price, come on over here. And you see yeah. a lady come walking up. I don't have time for the cardboard two then. She's about <laughs> five foot two, um, wearing police issue outfit, you know, uniform. Uh, her hair is pulled up in her hat, so you, you can't really get a good view of what her hair color is. She does have piercing blue eyes. Put your hand on the tube for a second. Officer Pierce with piercing blue eyes. Yes. Nice. So, yeah. uh, who am I escorting upstairs? Well, that would be me. And I flicked the two balls when he puts his hand on it. Okay. Uh, and that's double nines. What are you trying to do? Followed by an 11. So, 29. Higher low? Hi. 
Okay. I only needed a 30? Yeah, yeah no, no, you didn't need a 30. The higher low was he said he flicked the tube as you put your hand on it, so I needed to, just a, to know what that did to your perception oh. of what's in there. <laughs> so you get a couple different things. Uh -huh. um, thing number one, like the briefcase, there is some stuff. sort of foam insulant in there. However, unlike it, you also get the sensation of liquid hmm. as he thumps the tube. You feel like a, a ripple a inside, and you, you actually hear the slosh more than feel the slosh of liquid inside of there. Not a lot, and it's a very heavy liquid. Not water heavier than water. Be very careful with that. We'll do. Important. Um... Yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing it's a bomb. I mean, would I be able to figure out if it was? Uh, do, do you have any Mechanical sort of knowledge. bomb stuff? Mechanical bomb. Do you have any like, I Building believe that's under. Knowledge. I believe that's under um, military training. Or Six in military I mean, training. I mean, I blew up part of my face. I figured I'd <laughs> sound all I, I figured you, you know blew up part of your face because you <laughs> messed up with knowing how things worked. <laughs> Six in military training, and that would be a eighteen. Um, it could be. You'd have to know a lot more. Um, it's not any sort of bomb that you've seen, but it could be. I mean, he mentions he didn't tell you that there's liquid in it, so he's like, just be very careful with it. So right there, that would make your hackles raise, yeah, if you will, kitty boy. <laughs> so John, I'm to uh, I'm texting Bill Sander. Okay. Um, what do you mean? Uh, Agent Bodra's purse and laptop retrieved, as well as two packages in the trunk. Uh, need her advice on how to proceed. Um, the text message coming back would be, "Okay, I'll I'll ask her." What a maroon! In a <laughs> smiley face. Smiley Just face. Based off of the texts that Rafa has sent me, for in character. So. <laughs> <laughs> why do I? Why exactly? Do you need to be careful about this. So are we going upstairs? Oh, it's oh, just uh, needs, to, needs to be uh, handled very carefully. How are you doing today? Doing so good. How about you? Doing pretty well. Nice to shake it That's a firm grip. Yeah, it sure is. Keep sure. it as balanced as possible. Did my hand squish when she? Not at all. <laughs> not, not squish. <laughs> Will do. Yeah. 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 You didn't even <laughs> feel her grip. Let me yeah. put it that way. No, I, I know yeah. I didn't. But yeah. I'm saying like in regards to her catching it, what would she? Feel? Yeah, you have no idea. No clue. Other than she mentioned you, you got a firm grip. Oh, pleasure to meet you, um, Mr. Officer Price. Price. Correct. Pierce. Price. Which Pierce. Was Price. It? Price. Officer Price. It is Officer Price, sorry. <laughs> he fucked me up earlier when he said I Pierce. Yeah. Officer Pierce with piercing blue eyes, like, yeah. I it is. I heard yeah. Price. Officer Price. Pierce. It's a pleasure to meet you. A pleasure to meet you? Uh, would you mind uh, helping me go up? Uh, I'm, I want to investigate the area where uh, the agent said she was stopped. Okay, yeah, so if you just follow me up over this way. Let's follow this way. And she starts walking off. Um, after a couple steps, she stops. She goes, oh, wait a minute. She waves her hand in front of your face. You hear and feel the, the motion. I'm sorry, here, go ahead and take my elbow. I didn't realize. I will take her elbow. And she continues leading you up to the... Uh, I'm going to. Yeah, but you can see. <laughs> <laughs> As she leads you guys up. So how did you come to work for the, for the Federal Bureau of Investigations with your handicap? It's a uh, long Disability, story. Disability, sorry. It's, a, it's quite an interesting and long story, but unfortunately I uh, don't know if it's best that we get into that right now. Oh, no, no, that's fine. Touchy subject. I, get, I just I make small talk as you guys go walking up the stairs. Well, and I don't or know not, if I'm really She, she actually leads you discuss. over to the stairs and then walks you up. You know, here's the stairs, here's your hand. You know, you guys go up. And I'm just behind them because I'm sure they're taking their time. So I'm like... <laughs> as you guys get to the top, um, <laughs> it's only five stories. And she was on the third, so it was only two floors up. So... so you know, being behind them for every step. Yeah, every. Watch your step you know. here. Watch your step here. Well, she actually, you know, just points out where the handrailing is, and so the the cool thing about this particular building 
is the hand railing, railing on the inside that she would have pointed out to you actually is continuous. Oh. So it doesn't stop and then you have to turn and then grab a new hand railing. It's actually continuous all the way up. Nice. Good hand railing. Almost like it was made with disabilities in mind. Right. Now the outside railing does not do that. The inside railing does. <laughs> So you guys make it up to the top floor. She said, okay, so here we are. Um, which area in particular were you interested in? Do you know where she re-entered uh, the parking garage area from? Uh, so this door, if she went in the door, would have been where she would have entered. But oh, I'm we sorry. Didn't. I meant back onto the roof. Yeah, so that's, uh, that is some question. We believe she may have been delirious when well, she said she came I, I, I'm not trying to discredit anybody but just assume that she was able to enter from the roof where would she have entered so if she if she used the stairs it would have been the stairwell this door right here mm -hmm. um, but we were not able to find any fingerprints nothing on it this door was locked you need a key card to get in um, so the only other way she could have would be to go down where the cars drive down um, as you, far as where she made egress on this this building is a little bit taller than all the other buildings around it uh, by about a story so with the exception of our offices that are across the street and it is it is one story above so maybe she went over to that one climbed a fire escape or something and then jumped across four lanes of traffic to get over here i've heard of crazier but um I, that, I don't uh, that one movie with um Oh, what's his name? They had a... Or he, he jumped uh, from uh, a parking garage onto a uh, balcony uh, several floors uh, across the street. I, I don't I think it was watch. with Jackie Chan. I don't watch many movies. Oh, it was a great mm. movie. Oh, yeah, I yeah, know. okay. Um, yeah, I mean, sure. I mean, I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just saying that that's the only way I could think of that she would have done it without climbing the side of the building um there's there's a lot to be said for for what she went through and, have you found and how any sign of blood up here uh yeah so there are a few places she um so one of the bodies we found was just as as you go down okay so when she says that there weren't any fingerprints what did she mean by that like there, there are no there fingerprints were, on the door oh okay. um so if you come over here um and she she escorts you guys over to the edge of the building that's the opposite side from the taller building. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so there there was a, it looks like quite a bit of blood here. Uh, it's a, it's like a two foot by one foot puddle that we found here. As far as the diameter, it was very shallow. Um, too much to be cast off, but um, we don't know what caused this. We're still... Did any uh, shootout happen up here? No, none of the shooting happened here. Huh. All the shooting was inside the parking garage. Uh, so is this um, there? There is some, some cast off over here. Um, it looks like maybe a knife or something. And someone may have gotten stabbed up here. I don't know. We haven't been able to talk to your agent yet to get more information other than what she told them in the ambulance. Uh, well, I would like to investigate these puddles. Uh, this cast off. This one puddle in, in the cast off, yeah. Yes, as well as uh, the uh, surrounding lip or wall of the area. Um, yeah, so it's it's just right over here. It's Have you already completed as much of your investigation as... Um, well, the, the CSI team is going to come back up here and, and do more. Um, they did a cursory examination of here. This whole building is being processed. And, you know, we only have six people in our CSI team. Um, so it's going to take a while. It's going to take a while. Well... In order for my investigation, I'm going to have to use my hands, unfortunately. Okay, so as long as you keep the latex gloves on, we're good. Sorry. Are there any other stairwells other than the one that Just that one coming up here. And as you can see, and she walks back, she, it's, it's locked. You have to use a key to, a card in order to unlock it from the outside. Was there any I hope my signs feet don't uh, <coughs> cause any issues. Were, were there any signs of an altercation on the stairwell itself? And uh, not that we saw, no. Um, but we haven't fully processed that yet. There was no blood or bodies found in the stairwell, so that's low on the list at this point. Of course, it's a major city in your state. Why do you guys only have six people in CSI? No, we have six for this investigation. Oh. Well, it is a, it is a big city. There's all <laughs> sorts of investigations all the time. 
So I'm, I'm not saying that we're the murder capital of the world, but you know, people get shot a, a lot. So, so we, we do have a lot of investigations going on concurrently. Friends and family, Oklahoma City. <laughs> <laughs> Now, has there been any, like, any other strange sort of uh, crimes that have happened like this one? I mean, like, think of it this way. The reason I'm saying strange is because one person versus however many you say you fought, or she fought. Eighteen. As well as, eighteen. As well as her possibly getting on top of the group and then entering the parking lot. I'm just meaning in regards to that kind of weird. There's all there's always weird. You must be new to this too. There's always weird law enforcement. You know, between the people that are hopped up saying that they were abducted by aliens to um, to yeah. the people that, that think they can lift a car I'm after talking, they've been hit by it. You know, it's it's just there's all sorts of crazy. I'm talking maybe within the past few days or perhaps she had mentioned what brought her here in the first place. No, she was running cold cases according to her. Um, I don't know. I mean, this sort of thing with gang and violence, it's, this would be more of a DEA thing, where we see DEA officers getting jumped by gangs, c- drug cartels, things like that, versus the FBI. I know I probably wouldn't have the map on me, but would I be able to recall specifically where... It'd be hard to tell exactly where it landed on the city, but I figured... Um, you would have to actually probably review it at the map okay. because you're looking at the area inside that of the right nostril of the Blyle symbol. So, and that whole area hadn't been shaded in yet, and so it's just that area. This is, is the first part to yeah, shade. First part to shade. So, the question you're asking is very specific, no, and you'd okay. probably have to have the map for it. And judging by your character's uh, forgetful nature, he probably wouldn't know. Okay. I'm going to... Uh, so, how far is it from the uh, puddle to the, the cast-off? Um, like five, six feet. Okay. And she'd say, you know, if you're asking her, probably because you're blind. Yeah, yeah it's, like, it's like five, six feet. It looks like uh, there may have been a vehicle or something parked here. Uh, because there's some cast off that's another three feet past that, so it was like maybe a small hatchback or something um, that isn't here now. Um, so we're still looking for that. Or Maya's visions when we need her. <laughs> any uh, any security footage, Kenny, catching that vehicle? People are processing it. Um, I don't know. That's my my job is to make sure that curious onlookers don't get too curious and contaminate the scene. Do you, know, do you know who's in charge of the investigation? Uh, yes, I do. Would you be able to relay that information to us? Yeah, so uh, Captain Chow? Captain's in charge of the investigation. A federal agent was attacked by 18 gangbangers. Yes. <laughs> and he's just a liaison to the FBI. We're still waiting for you guys to show up and liaise with him. Well, we will likely uh, be back or have more joining us. Um, oh, I figured soon. that there's going to be a circus. A I prefer the term circus. carnival, but... A media circus. Whichever way you want to look at it. It's already been a media circus. <laughs> Trust me. In fact, if the media catches wind that you guys are here right now, there's going to be more of a media circus when you guys leave. Why Trevor. do you think we're dressed the way we are? <laughs> Trevor, that's fine. No. Um, so I'm going to... Uh, how far is it from puddle to adjoining wall? Um, another seven feet. So she got onto the building, walked a little, then yeah, got stabbed. Yeah, then got stabbed. Um, is... Inflated. And I'm... Yeah. <laughs> Presumably yeah. walking. Yeah. Um, and I'm able to feel decently enough... Through the latex gloves. Um, what's your rank of hyper? Five. Yeah, decently enough. Uh, I'd like to try to touch the walls, floor, not the blood. Mm-hmm. Um, try to get an idea if there's anything missing, like 
if somebody uh, took a pot shot off at the wall. Okay. Or go uh, ahead and knife. Go ahead and roll and just tell me the number. I'm going to jump to the other group and then I'll come back to you and we'll continue. 15. Perfect. Okay. So meanwhile, two people with Officer Cross. Thank you, Cross. Um. So Officer Cross, can we get a copy of all tapes, please? <laughs> you can get a copy of all tapes that my captain says you can get a copy of. That I can do for you. Um, I'm not in charge of that. I'm in charge of keeping the crime scene as pristine as possible. Could you lay the call for us so we can have them ready for... Oh, I figured you guys are going to want to uh, meet with uh, meet with our task force and create your own task force and do your own little federal powwow that you guys do. I mean... Oh, we probably... Uh, I could, you're not there. there. I could be completely wrong. <laughs> I could be completely wrong on this, but I'm just surprised that you guys didn't, like, stroll in across the street saying, we need a conference room and coffee, stat! You know, so... That's not the way we do you things. You know, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm just a little surprised that the first thing you guys did is come to the crime scene as opposed to What's go talk means? to our captain. We like to fly under the radar, so to speak. Anyway... Um, let's see, do I get any tax back, or no? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> because it's, a, it's Bill. Because um, it's Bill. Ah, uh, so... So at this point, you just sent the text, they split off, and we're picking up from there, so we have to, we got time to fill with you guys to catch up with them at this point. All right, so, uh... Hyper smell, to see if I can smell what's inside the tube. Okay, roll. And what, Quasi? So I was uh, about to say, uh, we really need mm -hmm. to secure these two particular items. Um, so uh, if you can uh, escort us down so we can uh, uh, move these to the field office. Yeah, yeah, I'd be more than happy to. If you guys just come with me. Okay. 35. Um. Hyper smell six. High or low? High. Okay, so uh, it, while you're walking, um, you're you're sort of filtering out all of the other very very stark smells. Um, the, the best thing I can say is you do smell. Um, it's hard to explain this. Um, you smell steel. Um, and the best way to talk to, to say that is like your character is familiar with swords and it's a well honed blade there's always that, that certain scent of steel to it okay um, you also smell a very specific type of oil which one um, which is used for sharpening blades um, it's an oil that your character had run into in the past on the cat plane okay Carefully, but literally, that's all you can smell from inside the package. Right. The smell of steel and wet stone oil. A specific <laughs> yeah. type of. You wet don't stone know oil. this yet. <laughs> you shut up. So you guys, you trauma. guys get, you guys get, get led down. By the time you get to the bottom, mm -hmm. um, you do get a text back from Bill, mm -hmm. and it's, uh, yeah, she says she has no idea about those two packages. They weren't in her car that she knew about. Do you relay this to me? Not only do I relay this to you, <laughs> I relay this to, to the good agent. Okay, so what do you say, officer? What do you say? Well, according to Agent Poetry, these two packages uh, do not belong to her. They were planted on the car. Okay, so do we want to put them down and get a bomb team in here? We've got that covered. Mm. Got some dogs across the way? Something like that. No, I mean we do. I could bring him in. No, be nothing to. Okay. I, what? What? Okay. The fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, uh, does the uh, does the officer have any kind of superficial wounds, some scratches, uh, anything? Not, of, not that you can peak tell. Of physical health. I mean, yeah, he he seems to be just fine. Mm. He doesn't seem to be amped up. It's not like he's jittery, but he's not 
mm -hmm. sluggish either, so, you know. See, I have a, a particular set of skills, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, we're, we should be fine, I think. Okay, um, not, not, not a problem. Do you need me to, to bring some sort of uh, bag to put them in? That would be excellent. Evidence bags? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. yeah, so when we get down on it. Dispatch, we need a couple really large evidence bags. Like, yeah. yeah briefcase like size. The, the big ones. Yeah, so we got a briefcase and... Uh, garbage bag size. And a painting, a maybe? A painting tube or something? Yeah. Yep. This is about six feet wide. Okay, yeah, about six. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, cool. They'll meet us down there with it. If we Excellent. Take our time and stroll a little bit as opposed to walking fast. So you want to dose these for a prince? I'm me just to? gonna very subtly put this uh, gentleman at ease okay. uh, and uh, just increase his comfort level around us. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, while you're doing that, I'll jump back up the stairs because oh. it's gonna take you guys pretty much the time that they spent up there walking mm -hmm. down the. Uh, What's the question? Let's hope the motorcycle Search. on the screen all of a sudden. Don't Doesn't worry about matter. it. That'd be 28. Um, 28? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, so yeah. By the time you guys get down to the bottom, he's completely at ease. Um, and they, they come and bring the, the evidence bag. There's, a, there's another officer standing there. Thank you. And just bags those up. Will uh, we? Do you want our lab to, to dust these? Are you going to send yes. them to your lab? Yeah. Or what are you guys going to do? We will handle it and... Uh, and share with uh, okay. We who, need a who's lead here? Um, uh, that'd be Captain Chow. Captain uh, Chow. One second. Um, I just uh, the other guy hands him some forms, and he just if you could just initial here that you're taking these off. Thank you. <laughs> hands it back, and the <laughs> other guy walks off. <laughs> Chain of custody. Could you mm -hmm. send the captain over here, please? Uh, I can't send the captain anywhere. Can you, you guys can go meet with the what captain you, on your own. Your your the the so we can just go over there and talk. to yeah, you're not. You're, not you're, you're, you're upstairs. Well, I thought you said you made our way down. No, 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 no. They, they made their way, we did. way down. You guys are still upstairs. I just want to talk. We need to look official, don't we? You can talk to the captain. We'll take care of everything else. Um, I thought Agent Win Dixie was gonna just liaise for us. I I don't know. I just figured you guys would be doing stuff like that, but that's whatever. Um, so yeah, you know so. What? Do you want me we'll to wait here with you guys while your friends come down, or do you want to go back upstairs to them, or? Uh, you know what? Uh, I'll I'll call up uh, I'll call up Joan. Okay, so one second. Meanwhile, you guys upstairs, you're doing your your 15. check fifteen for, for your role investigation um, of the area for things. That might be some sort of a clue. So, so a couple sign. things that you do notice is, is as you're investigating the area, um, near where the blood is, um, probably about three feet away from it towards the wall, um, there are marks, not marks, but impressions in the ceiling or in the ground a little bit. Uh, it is solid concrete, but it feel, it, according to your touch, it feels like there's very slight divots. Impressions? In the concrete. Um, recent made. What kind of... The, the, it's smooth. It's like the concrete itself uh, was heated and moved or somehow De condensed. condensed in just very slight. Like the naked eye wouldn't see it. But with your roll, you can tell. And it's about shoulder width apart for someone about the same height as Agent Beaudry. <clears throat> um, so there's that. Would it line up with um, any of the uh, robots? No. Other Asians, maybe? No, or no, literally, literally, as you're feeling it, it's like you get the feeling or the idea that this That's is where she landed. landed to get onto the roof somehow. And evolving heat. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> Heat and or high pressure to do this. Oh, well, she can fly. So, um, as far as far as anything else goes, she nothing, nothing no else I'm seems out of the ordinary. Just that one thing is what jumped out. Of it. I mean, out of the ordinary, 
except the fact that there was like the crime scene. Crime scene. Yeah. Aside from the blood. What about the uh, the weapon in gen- in particular? Uh, you were not able to get anything on that based off of the the crime scene itself. Um. They Some sort of blade, you'd know that much, but as far as what kind of blade, you wouldn't know. They, they've already taken it. Uh, there was no, evidence. there was no blade found. Oh. I mean, you don't feel one there. You don't find one there. Um, and she didn't mention anything about a knife, other than she said that it looks like, according to the spatter from what they've been briefed on, is it looked like someone may have been stabbed up here. But that's about all she mentioned. So if you need more information, you can have a conversation. Hey, uh, Jonah. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, Mr. Uh, oh, God, what's your last name? I don't think you ever got my last name. <laughs> I don't know if I ever did. Mr. White. Uh, you just go with me, Jonah. <laughs> hey, Joe. Um, yeah. can you come over here real quick? Sure. The two forgetful people are up there investigating. Yeah. Um, <laughs> quick question. Did you ever deal with that guy who flew off when we were in Alabama? Who? Um, you remember when I killed the robots? No. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> they are talking about this in the presence of a police officer. Under, under. I mean, they, they are whispering. Yeah. She's like giving them some space. She's just observing them. Yeah, yeah. This is. And um, listening um, as much as she can. Wait, 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 was that the time when I was uh, carrying Bill on my shoulders? Probably. It was after the football game. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember that. Uh. Do you know. What, what, what can God. you tell me about that gentleman? I didn't get to, uh... Which one? Oh, God. What, what is... It was a Gemini in lockdown. <laughs> 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 walks on the beach. <laughs> Come on, guys. We're, 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 would his feet have been roughly uh, this far apart? Uh, I wasn't really paying attention to him. God. So... <laughs> oh, maybe? Boy. I know absolutely nothing about Will. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Aside I know. from he was the one thing he said out loud. Yep. The only thing I remember about him is that he had really bright red eyes. How would that line up with uh, the timeline of events? Um, the football game versus when she was attacked. He was, she was attacked about the time you were encountering him. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I, also, I also remember that preacher man uh, made him repent. That's what it is. I'm not there. No, I'm not talking to him. And Redbutt now, your phone rings. Ring, ring. Hello. Hey, Jonah, are you done jacking off upstairs? Yeah. What's up? <laughs> uh, we're again, about to leave. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm not going to make you roll. You can hear both sides of the conversation, Trevor. <laughs> All right, where are we going? We're going to, uh, to, to investigate these two pieces of, uh, of uh, evidence that were left in the trunk of the car that uh, Agent Bodra did not actually remember having. So they were planted. You hear? Yeah. And, uh... They're not dangerous? Oh, Man, we I don't know that. That's why we're are. leaving. Well, why, are that's we just, why, but why aren't we just giving them to the, to the police? Because we are the police. Yeah, but we don't have the equipment to deal with any dangers. That's why we're going to oh, the field shit. office. Still. Stop being a moron. Come down. All right, Jack. Ready to go? Uh, just about. Um, when uh, you're... Uh, CSI people get here. Yeah. Uh, you might want to have them investigate uh, this spot. Okay, for what? Impressions. Okay. She reaches into one of her side pockets, pulls out some specific type do of I, tape, and do marks I it off. Do I feel any kind of, like, from the impression, any sort of, like, uh, boot print? Uh, no. 
it's it's just divots in the ground. There's there's it's no just flat it's just, yeah. in those locations. It's just flat. Well, it's slightly curved because it's divots, but it, it is indicative of something or someone laying. But there's no like tread. No or tread. Yeah. No no tread or anything like that. Anything consistent with a shoe? Yeah. No. Might be consistent with bare feet, but not a shoe. <laughs> Beaudry wears shoes. Yes, except she wasn't wearing shoes when you saw her. Because she got out of the hospital. Were torn. Yeah, we're destroyed. Yeah. But that would have happened after being stabbed. In I theory, thought. yeah. There's all sorts of things, all sorts of questions for you. Yep. All right, so ready to go downstairs? <laughs> so, I do have one more well, question. All this in is going upstairs. In relation to the entrance of the parking garage where she would have left from, where is this spot? Like, is it directly above, like, if she had gone out of a side and jumped up? Um, like, what's directly below here? Are you over asking her, or are you trying yes, to figure over, out? Yes, okay, over the wall, okay. what is... So over the wall, there's another building. It's uh, a, it's across an alley. It's a, it's a two-story building. Are there any bushes down below? No, there's dumpsters. Dumpsters? It's, it's an alleyway. Have you inv- checked the dumpsters the... for anything? Uh, yeah, so that was one of the first things we did. We cordoned off the whole area. We checked the dumpsters. Unfortunately, the dumpsters were emptied um, between the time we went to cordon it off and the incident. So we are currently trying to get a hold of what may or may not have been in that truck. You didn't happen to find I any shoes that around, did you? <laughs> um, not up here, no. Shoes? Um, there were yeah, any discarded shoes? Um, not, not to my knowledge, but I'm not fully versed in what the CSI teams did or did not find on their cursory evaluation up here. I'm sorry, why are you? They should just taping off mm-hmm. that. Area because he has a shoe I'll, uh, I'll make sure that they he takes a picture. But I'll make sure that they come and look at that spot. So How do the size of the the imprints measure up to my own feet? Do you put your feet in? No. How, t- how <laughs> tall is your character? Uh, five seven. Okay, so um, you know, what's your build? Uh, uh lightweight, I think. So amazingly similar. I mean, it's they're a little bit smaller than your feet, but not by much. Okay, I'll have to compare notes with Agent Beaudry later. <laughs> Let me see your foot. <laughs> <laughs> not a so, question. While this is going on, yeah. I actually start looking, walking around the building itself. Okay. Looking up at the walls to see if I can see any marks on the outside. Okay, so you're gonna leave. The officer well, and him, or are you going to tell them what you're doing? I, I or? tell the officer what I'm doing. Okay, so we're all walking around with you? Sure. He said that more directed at Barnabas? Yeah. Okay, so let's let's walk. Roll perception roll. What are we looking for again? Is he's like looking up at the building. He's, <laughs> he's got walking around. He's got some sort of some sort of instinct. Nineteen. Okay, so as you're walking around, there's two alleys mm-hmm. on either side, and then there's two main streets on the other two sides. Um, See, Agent Dustin here, he's kind of like an idiot savant. Oh, okay, yeah, I've heard about those. Um, as you guys are walking around, uh, you can tell that the building has not been... It's been well taken care of, but there's all sorts of dings, on, especially on the alley side. You know, trucks scraping it, things like that. Nothing I'm really above... Looking- yeah, n- nothing. To the top. Most of the damage to it is is like truck level, not really above the second or third floor. Um, you Any don't really blood see spatter marks? nope, no blood spatter marks that are visible um, from ground level. Okay, looking up. Mm-hmm. And I would that? like to go to the top of the buildings around here. No, so you look would not. <laughs> okay, right now, later. You can come right. We, okay, I was just gonna call Agent Price. To, okay, so yeah, one moment. Oh yeah, so evidently they're coming down. So they should be here momentarily. All right. And I jump from the top. No. <laughs> <laughs> I can fly. No, I can't. Um. So you guys. Yeah, there's she, a dumpster to catch my fall. <laughs> she uh, takes Ew. the uh, 
An empty one. She takes <laughs> you guys to the stairwell, badges in, and you guys come down the stairs. It doesn't take that long for you guys to get to the bottom. Just just curious, Officer Press. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so is this parking garage public or is it private? It's private. It's for the precinct. And how did these people get in anyways? Uh, these are great questions that we're investigating. It's part of the ongoing investigation. I, I don't have that information. Like most investigations, I'm only read into the stuff that I need to know right. about keeping people out, providing evidence bags to feds. We knew that you guys would be coming. They didn't say how many, when, or who, so, which is typical. So, yeah, you know, just the usual. Uh -huh. Gotcha. Cool. So, as you guys are going down and the others are waiting for you guys, we're going to take a quick break. So, appreciate you guys for staying with us and, and uh, watching. We'll see you in a few. Bye-bye. I
and welcome back. Appreciate Hello, you guys, uh, bearing with us while we took a quick break, and we're going to get started. So we're going to start with you guys meeting up with you guys at the bottom of the parking garage. Sorry, which guys meeting up with which guys? You guys meet up with you guys. No. Yeah. So the group is back together. Um, Officer Price looks at Officer Cross oh. and goes, "Okay, you got him." Yep. She goes walking back in. All right. So. Okay. So uh, anything else I can help you with here? Nope. We are uh, we are vacating to investigate the, these articles of uh, uh, interest that were planted on the car. Uh, we will contact uh, Captain Chow once we determine what uh, what these are. Okay. Sounds good. And uh, how many more of your team is there? Just curious so we can keep it for our records. Uh, there's going to be uh, Agent uh, Sander. And you might actually Dahmer. see Agent... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Cover. Uh, Agent okay. Dharma. And uh, you might actually see Agent um, Beaudry, too. Okay. So but just two more? Um... As many as four. There, okay. there, there might be two others, but uh, um, they are known from another agency, so I'm not at liberty to disclose their identities. That's fine. And um, we would prefer okay. it if uh, you keep the uh, knowledge of Agent uh, Beaudry uh, on the down low. Yeah, no, it's... it's uh, don't worry. We... Uh, pride ourselves in our professionalism. We just need to make sure we know about how many, and eventually if we could get like a roster so it's that an if... eight to uh, sense if I believe him on his claim of priding yeah. themselves in <coughs> yeah, professionalism. He seems, he seems pretty upright about it. Are you, are you checking his face to make sure that I'm listening I'm summoning, to his... I'm summoning our prior Uber. Okay, yep. Um, higher low? Huh. Yeah, it's only a block away. Mm -hmm. So... <coughs> like she was sitting there waiting for us. No, no, she's driving around doing stuff, but it just happens mm -hmm. to be a block away. Um, so if we could eventually get a roster, just that way, if we have other people poking around, saying that they're with your group, we so know... So noted. Okay, perfect. Um, here's my card. Uh, I, I, I mean, obviously, you can just talk to the captain, but if you need... If you want to just give someone the, the roster quickly... You can call me or my dispatch. The number's right there on the card, and uh, they'll, they'll put it Can we the send file. it via text? Uh, no. Okay. No, landlines only. More secure. Ah. All right. Then we shall do so. Um, oh, there's our car. Okay, perfect. And the car drives up. Does he see the No, 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 no. <laughs> Stop trying to get us into trouble, you, you moron. I mean, it'd be in plain view. Yeah, no, he does not notice it. Um, he's like, okay, well, as soon as you, you said here's your car, it pulls up. He's like, okay. He turns and starts walking back into the building. I asked her right. to pop the back of the car open. Okay, so you open the door and ask her that? Okay. Sure. She push the button and the hatch opens. Or the back door. Carefully set everything in. Okay. All right, back to the box. Okay. How you doing, Miss Bradshaw? Pretty. Bradshaw? Yeah, your name's on the... Uber. Right. Anyway, yeah. So, um, I think you told her name was. Yeah, I, I was just surprised you remembered. That was, yeah. that was okay. Anyway, <laughs> most most of my frequent riders don't even remember my last name. Anyway, um, yeah, it's good. Had a couple. Had another fare in between you guys, so it was good. Um, uh -huh. so back to where I picked you up at. Mm -hmm. Okay. Find everything you guys were looking for. Please no, drive very you. carefully. Always do. Little Please motions is is recklessly. your is your uh... delicate cargo. Oh, I thought you might get motion sick. There's bags in the back. Oh, that's no. me. I get motion sick. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Just uh, yeah, come on, hop in. Let's go. Wait, you get motion sick? I'm in the car. So you guys get in. She starts yeah. driving. You guys have your conversations. Mm -hmm. You get motion sick? How often does that happen? I haven't seen this. Anytime my feet aren't on the ground. Oh, it's a good thing to know now. We've been riding around with you for how long? A week? Two weeks? 
Well, as long as my feet are firmly on the ground and connected, uh, anchored down, when they're not, that's when we have issues. Any uh, vomiting involved in all that, too? Uh, well, back no, I just might fly off the there. face of the earth. Right, bags okay. are back there if you need them. Well, if you do ever feel, feel free to crack a window. If you also didn't feel the need to uh, ever vomit, feel free to do it on the bus, not on the truck. No. Yeah, boss. <laughs> Shut your pie hole. And a vomit, I'm gonna have you clean up. So don't suggest way to vomit. With your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just saying because he's already gonna be on the bus. It'd be inconvenient for him to go on the trip. It'd be inconvenient for me, and <laughs> I'm your boss, <laughs> and I pay you money. She snickers a little bit. So if you want to continue <laughs> being in my employ and Base be palm. paid. <laughs> <laughs> stop head. sabotaging my bus. Sure thing, boss. Just out of curiosity, did you guys take the latex gloves off before you got into the car? Oh. Or are you guys okay? I would. Have. I forgot why Just I had them on. <laughs> okay, no, my, mine have been taken off. <laughs> okay. Because so, I never even touched anything. So, so you guys, you guys get back to the bus. I took them off, turned them inside out. I did not. Okay. You guys get back to the bus. She's like, okay, uh, here you are. Pops the Thank back you very open. much. Carefully removes it. How long are you guys going to be in town? Uh, a couple of, uh, at least a couple of days. Probably at least half a week, maybe more. Okay. Uh, are you interested in, in, in exploring your spiritual self? No. I was going to ask what you guys are doing all the way out here at the. I mean, it's obviously you have a tent set up, and mm -hmm. so you know, I was just curious. Oh, uh, well. Uh, my name is Barnabas Lee, and uh, uh, I'm a I'm a preacher. Uh, I I'm get people acquainted, better acquainted with uh, their faith. Oh, well, I might I might come out to it. So is this like a revivalist sort of thing? It is indeed. Well, I might have to attend. It looks interesting. Well, I, I, I would time. be very glad to see you, and, and uh, you are always welcome. Okay, thank you. Please one, bring your friends. You guys unload the uh, um, carefully unload yeah. the cargo and you get out. Mm -hmm. And if you ever want a glass of tea or anything, um, just let me know. Uh, I usually keep mine in my thermos, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you call your girlfriend back? And he goes on in the bus with the. Okay. I have a girlfriend. So you guys go into the bus. <clears throat> this is news to me. No, I don't no. fucking have uh, motion sickness. That was an excuse to make her drive slower. I mean, he already Bob's said like, oh, good. I'm slower. glad you don't have motion sickness. Welcome back. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, I, will, I will carefully take the, the metal briefcase out to away from the bus and the truck and uh, okay. the tent. Uh I wonder if we have one of those uh, TV dinner stands. Or if I should just do this Higher on the floor. Hi. Mm, yeah, actually you do. You have a nice wooden one. Okay. Well, would, would you like some help with that? Uh, you might be able to hear it. Better. I can feel it. Let me let me try this, and if I don't succeed, then then uh, I'll call you into help. And we might be dead. <laughs> <laughs> so you he take just the briefcase. You leave the. Yeah. the I, I've got the package. tube. Okay, so you're taking them both out there. No, no. Okay. Not He's going out there. I'm staying, staying on back. the bus. Yeah. With the tube. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just I'm just trying to picture all of this. So so. Uh, I'm actually not on the bus. I'm with the two on the other side, just to make sure. So, how complicated is the lock? Uh, it's a it's a four four digit combination. Oh, that's oh, bad shiver. Um, you know what? I give it the once over to see if there's uh, anything that's gonna uh, blow. Uh, you know those uh, those 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 annoying finger dies, skin dies. Um, you know roll, that's sort of roll thing. a thieving check. Or, uh, yeah, whatever. Or whatever it's called. I know what you're talking about. 
Oh, that's a three. So, uh, as far as you can tell, it's it's just a standard four-digit combination lock. Okay, in that case, I will open the lock. Okay, um, go Let ahead and roll. roll to try to open the locked lock. That would be a 15. Uh, yeah, you are able to to uh, to get it pretty much open, no problem. Pretty much? I mean, a couple times he's like, okay, no, no, okay, no, no, that's not quite right. I mean, it, it takes a couple seconds, but it's four digits, not too terribly hard. These guys are watching from the bus? Uh, I'm not sure where they're watching from. He's right. watching from the bus, or from beside the bus. Where I'm are you? I'm close by. He's like beside you. Because I don't think our healer should be the one to open a potential bomb. I'm your just okay, okay, so, yeah, so you have him beside you. Um, as you open it, you trigger the mechanism. The case actually makes a For that, you'll need to unlock your phone. Noise. You said <laughs> open it, it triggered my phone. Well, turn yes, on. Trevor? Uh... I'd like to listen further and potentially feel the case for anything else, like traps. So, so you have your hand on it it's, while it's he's doing it? It's too late. Okay. Uh, I was just going to open it. So, I so he, he, that there were he, no traps. I will let you make one roll for hearing, not for touch. Twelve. Okay. So you, you hear the tumblers in place by the time he finishes. He pushes the button to open it, and you, you would hear a noise as it open as it just pops open a little bit uh it was hermetically sealed do you do you mind if i open it <laughs> <laughs> okay because i'm confident <laughs> and now there's a mushroom cloud over the city <clears throat> so you open it um in the box it's mostly thick foam mm -hmm. uh ballistic type like for packing guns in um, and in the middle is this really beautiful uh, 45. Uh, it's very ornate. It's very bright polished. Um, it has uh, a fox on the uh, on the pistol grip etched into it. Um, it it's a very well made pistol. There's only one in there, and there is a magazine. In there as well for it. Loaded. A magazine. Oh, uh, <laughs> a clip. <laughs> a clip. Uh, what sort of magazine are we talking about? <laughs> Jugs? <laughs> Foxy. Uh, a 10 round magazine in there with it. Uh, that's all the Oh, God, are we dead? I'll, uh, I'll, I'll take a picture with my phone. Okay. I'll send it to. Do I actually know Agent Baudry's phone number? She doesn't have no, a phone. No, that's right. So I'll send it to, <laughs> to Wait, Agent Wait, how are you Dama? trying to get a... Oh, huh? not anymore. Yeah, <laughs> she doesn't have a phone anymore. <laughs> I'll send it to Agent Dama, and, uh, and my text is, uh, Does Agent Baudry recognize his sidearm? Are you just going to sit there and wait for him to respond? or? No. Okay. Uh, this is going to take see. a little bit because you know him. And, uh, actually, um, uh, I'll send the same image to, to Agent Win Dixie, uh, Win... Winfield? Winfield. Okay. Winfield. <laughs> and no then say, uh, Win should I forward this on to, to, to Captain Chow? This was left in Agent Boger's car. Um, you get a response back from... Sender um, saying, okay, I'll ask her. And then you get, uh, like, a couple seconds later, you get a response back from Winfield. Um, I don't know. I've never seen that gun before. I don't know what you need to do with that. How huh. many bullets are there? Are Is there bullets magazine, with it? Is the magazine empty or full? So you pick up the magazine, mm -hmm. take the magazine out. It's, it's full, fully loaded. Mm. Is there one in the Hollow chamber? Points. No. Uh, well, so you pick up the gun and, mm -hmm. yeah, there's not one in the chamber. It's nope. a really hefty 45. Really hefty. Well made. He still has his gloves steel. on. I'll uh, taste... Uh, <laughs> yeah, he still has his gloves on. <laughs> I'll uh, 
tech stage in winter, uh, Winfield, <laughs> whatever, Windbag. Uh, uh, full magazine, not in the chamber. Well, so good news, it probably hasn't been fired. Um, mm-hmm. I know nothing about that that particular handgun. I will Looks ask custom. Agent Beaudry about it. Okay. She's not with you? Um, she is uh, returning from the field office. Oh, okay. Have her call me when she gets in, is what it says in the text. Okay. All right. Uh, well, that was nice. Yeah. Take that to the bus. Two. Two times. Text message conversation. Take it to the two out to the... Not that I would know, but... The little table? Would a pistol that's custom made, presumably, have a serial number? I mean, all... Pistol should have a serial number in theory. In theory. I mean, wouldn't that be step one of what Win would want to know? Not right the second. That's probably why he wants to talk to Agent Budry. Good option. So, I Never bring the two out there. Did you have you can ask on? him, but you, there was no phone call. This was all text. Yeah, we're not, we're not yet. I still don't know what's when in the he box. Comes back, you're checking. Yeah, do, you, do <laughs> no, you tell? I haven't opened it yet. Do you tell your blind compatriot what's in the box? I mean, gun. you're looking, you took a picture, you started texting. It was a texting. nice looking gun. Oh. Wouldn't he be able to hear all that? He texted. No, I'm saying the gun. Wouldn't be able to hear the gun? He'd be able to hear a gun, and he'd be able, yeah, he'd, he would have heard it when he slid the, the slide back, but he wouldn't know what else is in the box. Well, I'm glad it wasn't an explosive. Wouldn't have made sense. So, I bring the tube Why out not? there. You know I have gloves on, right? And I'm with you. You don't want me to check it? No. <laughs> no. So, you guys, do you close the briefcase back up? Or what do you do? Uh, I'm assuming you put the gun back in the briefcase. Yeah. Um, close it back up, I think. Okay. So, once it's all closed up, I carry the tube out there. He walks out with the tube. What do you do with the briefcase? Just curious. I'll send it back to the bus. Okay. All right. Are you going with him? Do you take the briefcase as he hands him the tube? Sure. Okay. Gloved so. hand to gloved hand. <laughs> Sets the tube down. So, hey. this, what sort of tube is it? Is it like a twisted tube? No, it's, it's a, it's, um, it has tape around both ends. And mm-hmm. it looks like one end is probably removable, but the other end isn't. It's all solid, one one solid piece, if you will, of cardboard mm-hmm. shaped that way. How uh, how, how wide is this room? About that big around. Investigation, see, you know, closely examining all the tape and everything. Go ahead. Six. So it's, it's this kind of brown tape that you've never encountered before. Um, it's kind of slick to the touch, and it's perfectly sealing it. There does not seem to be any break in it at all. Well, you've got the gloves on. You see packaging tape around the top of the tube. <laughs> so is there, is, there, is there a corner I can work on to peel it off? Or? Uh, actually, it's really well done, so no. Hmm. You so see he, him go, and Dustin, you know, a claw comes out, a sharpened nail. Shall I? Cat-like. So let's do this. So with his Actually, other gloved hand. I'll, I'll start you? videotaping, uh, videoing it with my camera. Okay. His leather gloves are still on. We're opening the tubes. So what made you think that the uh, case didn't make sense to be a bone? Uh... It's too, it's too Obvious. well made to produce shrapnel. What if it, what if it was just housing a bomb? And it's not about the shrapnel. So while they're doing that, well, hey, we're lucky it well. wasn't a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, there's some kind of liquid in there. I heard or I it's smelled. Very heavy. Yeah, it's sword oil. What is sore oil exactly? You went to return the briefcase to the box. 
You're not there. Well, he didn't say he walked off. He said he grabbed the briefcase. I'm curious. 23. Okay, 23. Um, do you have good fortunate or unfortunate or anything like that on your character sheet? Just curious. You only not that you need 25. it yet, but you know. <laughs> no, I do not. Okay, I was just, I'm just asking. You'd These think are he'd be unlucky with how often <laughs> right? it goes down. <laughs> okay, so so you 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 cut it open um, perfectly. I mean, he makes this this almost scalpel like incision right around the inside ring of it. Pull it out, or you're gonna let someone else do that? What? Well, I'm holding the tube with my gloved okay, hand. Okay, so he's got the hand on the tube. He goes, "Shh." You're videotaping it. Mm-hmm. He reaches down. You pull it open. But tip of his claw. He okay. He sinks Make his sure claws it's, it's, around it's, it's, it. It's actually you have facing his, up instead of yeah. You have it sideways. Well, right now it's flat. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes, you, know what? you might want to tilt it up if it feels liquid in it, lest it not, lest it spill out. Kind of jiggle to see where the liquid sits. Uh, so you're going to jiggle this whole thing? Very, very slightly. You really can't tell. Put the put the. Do you want me to figure down. out where the liquid sits? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> me just. Right okay, roll, Trevor. <laughs> Seven. Okay, so the liquid is towards the front end where he just opened or sliced around the the tape. It's it's near that part of the. the liquid's tube. at the top. Shape. So just tilt it <laughs> straight up and down. <laughs> it's liquid. Throw it down. Okay. <laughs> so you pull it off. Um, nothing seems to happen. Um, I do need everyone to roll perceptual, except Trevor. Eleven. Nineteen. Four. Okay. You don't notice. <laughs> Eighteen. Um, you two notice as you pull it off. You do see uh, little pieces of. of cloth, just slightly adhere to it and then fall back in. Um, noiselessly, there's no sound Damn to it. it. It's almost like like static, mm. if you will. So you pull it up, you see just a little bit of cloth, and it just settles back down. And it's a, it's red cloth. Red cloth. Hey, Bob, can and we get a footstool out here? Please. Yeah, yeah, hold on. A few moments later, Bob comes with his footstool, sets it down. So what you guys doing? Don't worry about it. Making sure this isn't a bomb. Right. Uh, I'll see you guys inside the truck. Um, <laughs> I mean, don't worry about it. I'll be in the bus. I'll be in the bus. See you later, Bob. He walks off a little bit quicker. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll be in the truck. I mean, bus. Yeah, no. Looked don't at you. Smiled. <laughs> and he steps on the step stool and looks inside. Um, yeah, so there's a, a red piece of what looks like silk. Mm -hmm. uh, just perfectly fitted down. So it's like whoever put it in had some way to pull the silk down into it, the rest of the stuff. That's what you see is red silk. So whatever the liquid is, it's on the other side of the red silk. Pops out another claw and tips it with, uh, pinches it with the tips of his claws, pulls it up. Okay. Roll. 17. Okay. You can hear this, <laughs> as you hear the silk slip against the um, the foam and the cardboard of the tube, as you, you hear the silk start pulling and pulling and pulling. Does it sound like it's going to tear? Pulling. No, no, it's just, it's, it's, it's a sound of raw silk being pulled against cardboard that has been wedged between cardboard and foam being pulled out. Uh, about... Five feet <laughs> as you're pulling out. It's it's one long cloth. Um, as you're pulling it out, people watching would see that there's a gold embroidery, like gold silk embroidered in it. Um, What's it look like? Chinese patterns. You don't recognize it at all. You've never seen anything like it. <laughs> Do I recognize it? Oh, my God. There's you're thinking generic <laughs> Chinese patterns from, like, a Chinese food place. I'll send it to you. Roll. That uh, would be an A. That would be um, an ornamental D top as he pulls the rest of it out. It's really long, more like he robe for martial arts. Mm -hmm. You sort of... I hand it off to... Hands it over to preacher. you. Very beautifully made for a lady, from what you can tell. 
And then immediately under it, in the very top, you see um, a small clay pot. Um, some other, like the base of some metal tools of some sort. And, um, and a layer of foam that those are sitting in. Oh. Carefully pull them out. Okay. So he sets those out. You can tell that in the pot is the liquid. <coughs> Set that down on the table. And then the, the little hammer that comes out with it and the whetstone that the pot was actually sitting on. Pull that out, too. Oh, this is going to be nice. And then you take the foam out and you see the hilt or the the end. I'm uh, just pommel. blanking on the term. Uh, this is a specific term for the katana, for the pommel of a katana, but you mm. see that part only and the foam is like all the way up against it probably shouldn't do this I think I should cut the cardboard around it make it easier to pull out what do you think mm, no just remove it uh, delicately if I was a guessing man I'd say that this means that uh, our two agents are probably dead So I dip my hand in there, grasp with the tips of claws. You can grasp what? The katana or the foam that it's packed in? The foam. Okay. So you sink your claws into the foam. Make sure I can squeeze and try to pull the... Thing out. Yeah, so you, you pull the whole thing out. As it comes out, um, about that far down, you see a separation in the foam. And the foam comes off. You can see the hilt of the katana. The Suba's beautiful ornamented dragons on it. Suba the really nice piece, yeah. The Suba's the guard. Would you mind slipping your glove on my hand, please? I'm gonna reach in there. Mm. He take, he actually take, since he's been using his closet, he doesn't have his leather glove on, but he doesn't want to put any prints on the. Uh, sheath or anything. Okay. So after the gloves on his hand, he reaches in and pulls it out. <coughs> Hi, Arlo. Hi. Okay, so as you as you put your hand on the sword and you start to pull, you feel a weird tingle just pass through you. What's your soul? Ah, oh, shit. My soul is six. Kay. Or it was six. <laughs> um, so, so as you start to pull, you just get this, this sense of dread. Let go. See, what we go. You just sort of let's go. Why are you dropping? Bridge man, I think this one's you. What kind of a gi is it? Um, I didn't specify exactly. It's, I don't it's think a, it's a gi. It's it's a it's a robe. It's a gi robe or a, or a ceremonial martial arts robe. I thought it was Does just it the belt. A, no. Does it, the, whole, uh, the whole robe was tucked around it. Does it match the description okay. of that one agent? Yeah. Um, so th you weren't really given a description of her? Mm -hmm. Aside from she uses a sword? Aside from she uses a sword. And she's crazy and hard to kill. Crazy sword wielding lady that's hard to kill. Um, I see. I you believe was the, uh, was the the phrase. You got the... Uh, do you mind if I see that silk? Oh, do you want me to heal your eyes? No, actually. I just wanted to... I'm just curious. You wanted to feel the silk? Yes. There. Go for you it. see, a man of my stature doesn't normally get uh, such pleasures. So I'm leaving that one alone, and that's out of character. <laughs> I can try getting that sword out no. for you. No. Afraid of it. I'll, I'll no. hand over the the robe to to Jack. Okay. Um, I'll climb up the footstool and uh, and reach in and uh, try to extract the soul. Okay. Um, hi, Erlo. Hi. What's your soul? Nine. Okay. So as you as you close your hands out, you get that that sense of dread on a spiritual level. Mm -hmm. Um. And as you're pulling, um, the first thing you notice is there's not a scabbard mm -hmm. for the blade. Um, and there's, so here's the Suba. 
there's a space and then there's another suba and it's not sharpened in that section oh <clears throat> and then you pull the blade out mm. um and it is it is a beautiful sword um the out of character total length like i said the, the whole thing was this long and so the blade itself is like that long I mean, I'm assuming out of character that this is the... Uh, and as you pull it out, it's it's like the, the sunlight just glints off the blade. Them. It's it's awe-inspiring, even for you. Um, with your high spirit, you're like, wow. And it makes, you know, the the standard movie mm-hmm. noise as you as you pull it free. We can hear the light glinting off the t- edge yeah. of the blade. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you can hear the... Oh. <laughs> you can hear the light getting cut by the blade. <laughs> <laughs> that would Does be amazing. Sound like the light is being uh, pained in doing so. Oh no no no! It's it's beautifully cascading off both sides. <laughs> but Slicing it's cutting the light. It's not twain. Diver- diverting around it. <laughs> Correct. So it's mm, a katana. Right? Hmm? Is it a katana? Uh, it looks it a- like a katana style blade. That's not the exact uh, name for that type of sword, but we'll go with that for. <clears throat> I'm uh, feeling the robe. I'm trying to get a sense of if I know. Uh, you anything sipping. else about it? Um, it's it's very finely made. Um, at first you can't even feel with your hyper touch. Um, at first you can't even feel the seams. Um, so you painstakingly go through and find where the seams are. Um, you can tell it's handmade. You can tell um, it's all raw silk. It's not processed silk. Um, so it's not soft. To mm-hmm. the touch, it's very coarse and very rough. Um, what about the embroidery? It, it feels several layers <coughs> thick, so it's not just one piece of silk. Of silk, it's like two or three layers of silk that have been masterfully crafted together into one garment. Um, the embroidery has quite a bit of symbols that you don't recognize. Can I tell na- nation? Um. Of language? Uh, from what you can tell, it's it's Oriental. That's about as... Can't make a distinction between Yeah, that, Chinese that's a, that's or about Japanese. as much as your character would know. Is that it's Oriental. I'm probably going to shop for this one. But they're all the same to me. I'll laugh it up. <laughs> so, uh... I wouldn't laugh you're, you're it up when he's got sword. a sword. You're holding the sword. You're feeling the, the garment. Um, I look back in the tube. It's hmm. dark. Do you put your eye all the way up to it so you can see? I Otherwise, turn it so the light shines in. Okay, yeah, no. So the foam is black foam. And so as the light shines in, it only gets so far before it gets soaked up by the darkness of the, uh, just tip it over and of the scabbard. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> John, just out of curiosity... Um, with my proclivity for reading uh, older texts. Would yes. I know anything about the Muramasa or Masami? Oh. Mm, higher low. Hi. No, not at all. I rolled a one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't know shit. <laughs> no, no, that, that is not one that you've heard about at all. Sorry. Who you want to know? <laughs> right? <laughs> you never go low. Well. Yeah, right? Oh, yeah. And yeah, then he so would have rolled high, though. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, so. So he handled the... Trevor the, can know things that Jack doesn't. He puts his <laughs> hand over the, op- <laughs> hand over the opening and slowly tips it to see if anything else is in there. Nothing seems to shift or anything that you can tell. Mr. Jack, would you mind checking this to see if there's um, anything else? Quasi, I need you to make a perception roll. Fourteen. Okay, so you, how are you holding the garment and reaching over? Are you like just holding it by the by the neck of the garment up, or are you draping it over your arm? I'm just curious. Um, for how tall of a person is it? Uh, five seven, ish. <laughs> <laughs> dun dun dun! I would fold it back up. Okay. Put it under one arm. Okay. Or hold it with one hand and then feel the tube to see if there's anything else okay, in there. Okay, so you shake the tube. Um, slowly and lightly. Uh, I'm asking him if he's shaking the tube. Yeah, okay, a little bit. So, so, so he's shaking the tube back and forth. 
uh, it does not feel like there's anything giving in there at this point. Nothing's rattling, nothing's shifting. It's got nothing left to give. Only take. What did you roll but for your perception roll? That would be a 19. Okay, so you're holding the blade. You run it two hands. I'm just curious. So you stand there holding it like this. You do two hands. You could easily do two hands on this blade. Mm-hmm. Two hands. Okay. It's just a die katana. So, so you, you know, you're you're uh, right. you're holding two hands. You, you've got it out, and you just feel it suddenly. Like, are you facing towards or away from the bus? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Away from the bus. Okay. So you, you feel like like the whole thing just suddenly just moves towards you a little bit. Is it J- just once, just like that? Do I sense it is trying to make its way to its master? Uh. Anything's possible. It's just literally, it's you're holding it, and it just suddenly felt like your hands pulled towards you a little bit, like maybe a quarter of an inch. I I'll recap. Turn the around and face the direction it was so pulling. So as, as you turn around, and face the bus, it, it goes the opposite way, a quarter of an inch. Are we having issues here? I might have discovered water. <laughs> Dowsing rod. So now it is uh, pulling again toward me. No, no, it's pulling away from you. So you turn towards the bus, and it pulled away from you. A quarter inch. Follow the pull. So it is pulling this way. Uh, I will go around the bus and see if it continues okay, so pulling that way. Wide circle, I'm assuming. Mm-hmm. Should we be a company preacher, man? Of course. Okay. You're his bodyguard. <laughs> Okay, so as you guys are doing the wide circle around the bus... Um, uh, anything weird from the silk? No. <laughs> <laughs> I need you he guys... Was hoping. I need you guys all, including Trevor, to roll a perception. Oh, uh, okay. Five. Eleven. Wow, you notice nothing. It's amazing. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to think about swords. Yeah. And whether or not this is Japanese or Chinese. Maybe Korean. You know nothing, Jack Walker. I was up to 26. <laughs> They're all double ones. Oh, good. Yeah, you notice nothing. You're you're awed by the blade. You're watching how the light plays off of the, I've never the seen finely like crafted blade and, and how it's honed and just amazing. Well, then, John, my roll was a 14. Okay. And what did you roll? 11. 11. So the two of you, as you guys go around, the, you know, doing the wide circle, um, you think you see something over near the tent. And you see somebody standing within the tent, in the you know beyond the opening flap, shrouded in darkness, if you will. Um, and you feel like the, the sword just tugs in that direction. All right, keep on following the sword. Okay, you guys make your way over to the tent. Mm-hmm. I'm holding. As you get up to the uh, tent, you you guys would hear from within the tent a female voice. Oh, good, you found it. Found what? Who are Upon you? hearing that, are you sword the, comes out. Are you the uh, agent that was uh, assigned to find uh, Miss Beaudry? Um, one of them, yes. Mm-hmm. I'm can guessing I, that the very I nice. Uh, that? I'm guessing the very nice gun is the ag- other agents. Uh, uh, there's a gun. Yeah, with a fox symbol on it. It might be. It might be hers. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know a lot about her. We didn't meet yet. Mm-hmm. Well, I would like to. I, I, uh, there was a lot of gunfire going off, and I needed to stash my blade. Oh, somewhere. you were already on site. Were you participating? Peyton? No, I was trying to find her. I was told that there was a gunfight, um, so I arrived rather fast. And unfortunately, I soaked some of the bullets for her. So it took me a little bit to pull myself back together. And so I decided to, to hide my blade. Something I learned very recently. Can I see your credentials? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can see. Yeah, definitely see my credentials. Um, so my credentials are that sword, and um, I don't really. How do I put this? The team that I'm in doesn't really have like badges. We don't need badges. <laughs> you sound like us. I. Um, I uh, so I. Um, what's your um, name, darling? Yeah, what's your name? Um, you can call me Vex. Okay. I remember that name. Now, if I were to call up Agent Winfield right now, he'd be able to vouch for it. Uh, not by that name, no. Then what name? Uh, I don't know you. 
So you. But we don't know you, and you're asking us to give you a weapon. I mean, I could take it. You could try. I mean, he doesn't look that tough. (laughs) (laughs) Why, thank you very much for your vote of confidence. However, by the way, she is still standing in the shadows. So as you guys get there, your eyes can sort of make her out. We. Um, uh, I'm not going to show this picture on stream because the picture I have without the added photo of actual people I don't have with me. I thought I did. So ignore the photo of the actual people on top of it, but that's what she looks like. (laughs) Hold on. Okay. Mm. The drawing, not the actual people. Gotcha. No. Uh... Yeah, we were given to understand that you, uh... And yeah, yeah, she is wearing that skin-tight bodysuit, from what you can tell. You guys can tell that, you know, her figure, she's wearing, like, tight clothing. Can I see her skin at all? Uh, Yeah, it's it's open down to... I mean, it's it's that picture. Her face has got those... That that weird mask-looking thing. Uh, It's... uh, Her skin is white. John? White. Like, not not Caucasian. Like Her skin is white. White. Yeah. White, white. Yep. Paper white. So, since or I'm ghost suspicious, white. I'm going to pull out my thumper. Okay. I wouldn't do that if I were you. So, just in case. Um, um, I'm going to tell Jack. Jack, please hand her, hand her over the robes. Oh, absolutely. So you can walk up? Yeah. As you come walking, she goes, ooh, a fighter. Interesting. I do when I can. Hand wraps give it away? No, your posture. Your ease of movement. Huh. I'm a fighter, too. Brawls don't count. I'm talking about classically trained fighter. Jonah, you're Thank a tank. You. She takes He's it not. Well, of course. So and with a quick flick, she unfurls it and puts it around and Do they fit? Yep, fits perfect. Like a glove? You know what? <clears throat> so five seven. I'll flip the sword brown over. Hair. <laughs> so I'm so I'm holding the blunt end of the blade and okay. head of the hilt. Thank you. She takes it, flips it around. As her fingers come in contact, you actually hear something slide in the pommel area and you mm. see um, a red ribbon just drop out of it. So. Friend of yours, I see. So where is uh, your associate? Um, I don't know. All I right. didn't I didn't meet up with her. I got there first. Um, I got shot a bit. Took me a little bit to to recover. Are um, you still injured? Oh, no. I'm, I'm quite good. Thank you. It took about a day and a half. Uh, had to cut off my hand, but as you can see, it's fine. Mm-hmm. So, what did you cut it off with? The chains that I was being held with? Probably should have led with that, huh? Mm-hmm. So you were being held. You were captured. Yeah, so when I came to on the first floor, I heard sounds of sirens and stuff and there was this this dark figure standing over me and he punched me in the face and then I woke up in a sewer um, storm sewer area I was this chained dark, this dark figure it right. was dark it can was you nighttime. let her continue her account so we can it was dark it was nighttime and they were dark I, I really I, I see in the dark just about as well as everybody that I know um, so so yeah so storm that was sewer that. yeah a storm chained sewer, in the storm sewer chained you know, my arms are stretched like this, and it, I just worked my hand until against the chains that I was, until it ripped itself off, and then I got out. Oh, a Deadpool. Excellent. Yes. And as you can tell, I'm fine. All right, wow. so. What about your other hand? Oh, I was able to, you know, once I regrew my hand, I was able to get it free. With what? Your stuff? Once I regrew my hand. I was able to get my other hand free. So explain this to me. How how does one regrow? Some people can regenerate uh, limbs. You know, I I just I, I don't ask certain questions. So Jonah. And then then she smiles, and walks towards you really quickly, <laughs> and leans and whispers in your ear. 
There can be only one. And then she jumps back. I can I hear this? No. Yeah. <laughs> you have a chance to hear it though. <laughs> you can roll perception roll in here. She does whisper really quietly. Not as loud as I did. Eight. Now was she smiling as she said that too? Yeah. Okay. But she also whispered it in your bad ear. Right. So you need to roll perception roll to see if you even heard it. Nineteen. <laughs> Uh, you can tell she whispered something. You can't tell what. Eight. With, uh, what's your hearing? Five. Five. Uh, you hear something about only one. And then she bounces back. Fifteen. Yes, you heard it. <laughs> Barely. Barely. Yeah. And I'm just like, what? And then she bounces back and smiles. That's quite an impressive blade. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Um, it, it's, uh... Family? She, she like holds it and goes like this and you see it sort of like spin and she grabs it again and she goes thank you and, she's, and it's gone it's um very sharp yes well sharpened I sharpen it daily usually um, I probably need to tend to it it's been a few days since I've had it last does it have a name it does but that's personal sorry I don't know you guys other than you're a gr- you might be a good fighter. I, it'd be fun to spar. Well, Vex, um, Agent Bojer, she was very concerned as to um, you and your associates' uh, well-being. And that's why she actually came out uh, into the open, uh, allowed people to know that she was alive. So, uh, well, I mean, if I'll you don't mind, our, our job at hand now... Now that we have found you and you are in good hell, it is to find the other one. So, do you have any ideas where the other one might be? Are we gonna gonna do a sewer search, uh, uh, oh, looking please, through no. all the drains, uh, the storm drains, where people could be chained up? Oh, hold on. Um, Shade, this is uh, Vex. Yes, I'm okay. I know I should have checked in days ago. Shadow Fox, is she here? You don't know. You cannot hear anything, Trevor, from the other side of it. I don't care what your role. (laughs) You can't hear anything. (laughs) Um, So you you don't know. She didn't. She didn't check in with you no I don't know what she looks like she's on the other team not my team you know I don't pay attention at the meetings that we do annually I may have seen her what two three times I don't know what she looks like I don't pay attention to ladies Okay, no. Uh, yes, I'll look. Okay, so what does she look like? Okay, five five, white hair, blue eyes, long white hair. Okay, black bodysuit. Yeah, yeah, standard issue. Okay, thanks. Yeah, no, they don't know where she is. Black bodysuit, standard issue. Like yours? Well, m- mine's got some red up here on my collar, but yeah, you know, yeah, pretty much. Well, mm-hmm. hmm. I don't mind fighting sometime, but I'd prefer it if we kept the sword out. Oh yeah, no, no, no. I wouldn't. I would. The sword is only for. I, I didn't use it against the gunman, for example. It's it's only for special people. That's why I hit it. Oh, I'm sorry. Why didn't Close you use up, it against? Reuse it. What? Why didn't you use it against um, the gunman? Because that it's only for you. special people. If I get shot, I get shot. I'm not worried about that. I mean, I should have been. I blacked out. But, you know, that doesn't happen often. It sounds like you blacked out by being punched in the face, correct? Well, there was that, but I meant the first time. (laughs) Blood loss does that to people. Yeah. You know what? There was a lot of bullets. If you're looking for Shadow Fox also. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. She's let's she's five five, long white hair, just, blue eyes. Just Evidently, walk she's over pretty. To the bus. Piercing blue let's eyes. Just go walk over to the bus. Oh, by the way, your tube is over there. Oh, somebody else. Oh, okay, good. 
I'll, I'll meet you there. I, and she walks over mm. to the tube. You uh, you can hear Trevor. Mm. Her footfalls are, are almost imperceptible, even to you, <laughs> with your extended hearing. Uh, it's like she's wearing super padded type of shoes. I'm going to follow her. Okay. She goes over to the tube. I'm just going to ask, so what did you mean by there can only be one? She, uh, she takes the ceramic. There can be only um, one? you said everything else on the... I said it. Okay. Yeah. So who's all going with her? He is. Okay, so the, you three, you go on to the bus I'm, alone. I'm going to the bus. Okay. So the three guys follow the, the chick. Um, oh, cool. She, she I, picks, I, I she, thought I was alone, otherwise I wouldn't have Okay, asked. yeah, she picks up the stuff. <laughs> And as she does, she says, huh? And she just tucks it into her robe that she's wearing. Um, and then she grabs the tube and she goes, yeah, it can be pesky. And she puts her fingers in and she pulls a black bamboo scabbard out. And just oh. slides that behind her back and it vanishes. Uh, Pocket dimension. It's a thing, I say. When it's like a tagline. When he said that, I actually Googled it because I watched one of the movies. <laughs> it's it's a tagline. You know, people have quotes, and that's a quote. I mean... I probably I should have said it to him, though. Was well, this you're not pro- Scottish. Was, was well, this? no, but you're not either. Maybe? I, your accent's kind of Scottish. Connor or Duncan? Oh, okay. What? Connor or Duncan? Oh, I see um, Ramirez? Ah, Yes. Yeah. Fascinating character. So you're a land from on high? Yes. No. No, no, no. I'm 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 from Japan. Pleasure to meet you. Uh, you don't look Japanese. Thanks. It's the white makeup. Juan Sanchez Villobos from <laughs> I Didn't I don't think I've seen that one. No. I just it's it's a quote. I like I like my quote. It's a tagline. You just go around just only to only to only to some guys to confuse them. It worked. I, I, I guess. I have a question for you. Okay. Um special how? What's what's the criteria for being able to use your sword? That is a really deep question and very long in the telling. Um, we have time. I mean, I, I, I might use it against someone like him just because he's different. You know, people with powers, um, people like me. Yes, I know. I could tell. It was starting to. Prance about. Sir Prance was, a lot. It was starting to irritate. Oh, okay. I mean, I, I've, I've, there's people like him on my team. It's, it's no big deal. How big is Really? It? Or a person like him. Name? My team, there's three. Three? Three of us. What is their name? But there's like 19 of us 19? in my organization. Okay. Shit, I shouldn't have told you that. Anyway. What is their name? I'm not going to tell you. I may know them. That's nice. Are you based here? In so the- what's your name? Dustin. In your name? Can I tell who she's talking to? Uh, yeah, you can tell her voice is directed <laughs> literally right Jack, at you. Jack, tell her your name. I was asking if I could tell whom she was asking, <laughs> first of all. So you can calm down. <laughs> Wrong usage of whom. To whom she was speaking. Um, Grammarnati. Well, you can call me Jack. Okay. Oh, yay, there's the picture. That's what these ones call me, at least. I don't. I call you blind boy. Hey, if I print this, will someone go get it? That's what most people call me, then. I don't want to save it as a PDF. I want to print it there. And print. Uh, If you do want to fight, I do have to... Warn you that I have. Just be careful if he makes his circle. You don't want to cross the circle. 
I would assume that I'd want to cross the circle if we were going to be fighting. Correct. Um, you don't want to cross the circle. He's very picky about who crosses his circle. Okay. I'll ask before I do. How about that? That works. There should actually already be a circle drawn in that tent. Yeah, no, I saw it. I was sitting in it. It's a good meditation spot. Right? Once again, you're drawing the same person, changes. No, it's, it's actually the same drawing. It's just that's a better one of it. Um, the other, I didn't realize I had the original on the photocopy paper when someone asked if they, or on my scanner when someone asked, yeah. hey, can, I, can I scan this? And it just so happened that that was there. And so we can actually mm-hmm. share that out to the uh, stream if you guys wish. Well, after they look at it, you can put it up. Um, oh, usually I have people sign waivers I approve. if they fight me. See, the head is actually bigger than the breasts, which is uh, a common waiver mistake for in most what? comic books. <laughs> a waiver. For what? Uh, in case I, uh... In case I lose control. Some of you in the chat know this character very well. <coughs> Hairball and Titan Um, <laughs> There you go. Woo! Get. Are you printing something else? What? Are you printing something else? Nope. Downloaded something else. But <coughs> I'm sorry, you said something? Oh, I just said, uh, in case I lose control. Oh, I'm not worried about you losing control, hurting me. So if you don't mind, I'll I'll waive the waiver. If we ever fight. You don't want to fight me? I'm pretty brawny. Really, George? Mm-hmm. You must be thinking pretty heavily about my question. No, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was looking at the character sheet just to make sure that I was doing everything right. It's okay. I was just saying, you don't want to fight me? I'm pretty brawny. If you would like to, I could. She would beat you to a pulp. I just, you know, it's, it's, he's been trained. You fight in bars, I think. I mean, I fight everywhere. Parking lots. I fought this guy. Oh, I yeah, okay, okay. One I of these times, him. maybe we can all just spar and, and see what happens. Vex, in the meantime, take uh, care of him, please. Are you going to be staying with us? Uh, or working with us? Don't know. Uh, let's go back and talk to everybody. Would you like I some tea? I just needed that. Oolong? Jasmine? Uh, in what Rafa bought me, was there Oolong or Jasmine? Hello. I know there was a variety. I know. Hi. There was some Jasmine. I've got some Jasmine. Okay, let's do this. Take you have Jasmine tea? Yes. Let's go. <laughs> 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 she loops her arm in yours. Aww. And in yours. <laughs> uh-huh. Sorry, I only have two arms. No apology necessary. As you guys make your way back. Roshin, how are you doing, darling? Rock. I do not have my list of phrases that Roshin has learned. Damn it. I'm sorry, it's in my book. You can Jack loses. Jack loses. Jack loses. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I, can, I, can, I can actually... I can see if I wrote down the numbers. Yeah, I wrote numbers for the phrases that she, uh, she knew. Well, while well, that's happening, I've been waiting patiently. Yes. Yep. So meanwhile, back on the us? bus. Huh? Were you just waiting on us? Meanwhile, no, back on the bus. No, I was not waiting on you. Oh. I've been waiting for my turn. Ah, gotcha. Yep. Because you guys have chat, chat, chatted up uh, next for, for a period of time while I was doing other things, but we haven't gotten around to that. Okay. So, so meanwhile, back on the bus. Back on the bus, uh, I uh, take out uh, the metal briefcase. Uh, and I have the metal briefcase. 
No, you returned it to the bus. No, I no, was carrying it. No, he actually was carrying time. it the whole time. Yeah. Really? He then I would have taken it. Down. Then okay. I would have taken it to the bus. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. I told you to take it to the bus, but you were <laughs> <laughs> such an insubordinate. I'm gonna dock your pay. But he never did. You can with him later. So um, I take it to the bus and say, Bob, um. Step outside for a little bit. Uh, I got things to do. Okay. All right. It, it so is a big bus. Oh. All right. Well. I'll step out if you want me to, though. Yeah. That's that's you, up to you. you. So he gets down. I mean, you do have the whole. You're back not set. bad. <laughs> you have the whole back yeah. set. Anyway. You yeah. cannot question my method. So 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 he steps out. Just to let you guys know, it's like. The bus is huge. When it's parked, a, a whole slider, like half of it slides this way, sort of thing, and so. It's a lot of square footage. So it doubles in width? <clears throat> no. It doesn't completely slide all the way out. It just slides enough to add more square footage. So, John, I'm going to uh, take some time in preparing uh, an effective street magic. Okay. Um, I'm going to take out the gun. Okay. Um, lock the magazine in place. And concentrate on where the owner of the gun is, and try to term, try to determine the direction. Okay. Is that is that a valid use of street magic? I'm checking that right now. Okay. One moment. Oh, it being such a new skill oh, that there's a the dowsing rod skill. See, I figure that is some sort of low-level magic that might be within the purview uh, of the new street magic power. Clear voice. Skill. Um, the, the closest thing that I can see under the definition of the skill, which is something that you don't have access to yet, I think, um, is foreshadowing. You can use it to try to um, like use foresight to see. Yeah, yeah, you can use it that way, sort of. Yeah, go ahead and roll. Okay. Why not? Nine. That'll be a fifteen. Okay. Um, so you uh, you get a flash of the owner of the gun. Mm-hmm. Um, in a in a very dark place. Uh, not a lot of light. Mm-hmm. Um, and the person is crawling. Crawling. Through a dark space. That's, so that's what you get flat. Um, no water, um, but you do get a flash of they're crawling through a dark space and there is a light ahead of them. Um, that's about what you're able to get. It doesn't pull you in any direction or anything like All that. All right. Is it, uh, is it a, a big space or a small cramped space? It's, it's a small cramped space. Mm. Like, a, like, a, like a vent? Uh, it could be. Uh, you don't really get a feel for the the shape of the space, mm-hmm. um, but the person is is crawling through it through a, a small space. Could be round. Could be rectangular. Mm-hmm. Um, it's dark all around them, so there's no lighting coming in from any ventilation or anything. But like I that. hear no water. But you don't hear. So any it's water. probably not a uh, a water main or a, or a sewer, sewer drain. Pipe. Yeah, okay. probably not. All right. Um, in that case, I will. Thank uh, you. I will remove the magazine, put the gun and uh, the magazine back into the box. Okay. Hmm. Okay. <coughs> I enter the bus before them and. Hold on. I'll. Uh, I'll. I'll call. Uh, I'll call Captain Chow. Okay. And so you call the precinct? Mm hmm. Uh, fourth precinct, this is uh, Agent, or this is Officer uh, Cassidy. How can I help you? Hello, Officer Cassidy. This is, uh, this is Barnabas Lee um, on the Federal Task Force with the FBI. Uh, I wish to talk with uh, Captain Chow. I'm sorry, with who? Captain Chow. Okay, yeah, yeah, sorry. Didn't quite hear you. Um, 
And your name again? Barnabas Lee. Mm, okay. Uh, do you have a number he could call you back at? He's in a meeting. <sighs> I suppose. Uh, I'll, give him a, I'll give him a number. Okay, great. Um, he should probably be an hour, maybe. He'll call you back. Oh, well, hey. I guess that shows his priorities. Click. Yep. <laughs> and you guys get back to the bus. So you walk in first. I step in. So as you guys walk into the bus, Bob's outside. Hey, uh, he's asked for us to wait outside for a minute, or me to wait outside for a minute. Probably wants do you I, guys to wait outside, too. Do I, do I see the... Uh, roll perception. Don't roll a three. I'm just going to laugh at Bob and just push my way past him. Uh, he wasn't blocking. That'd be a 13. He's just leaning against the front. <laughs> Yeah, you see them walking up. Oh. And then you see Jonah just sort of laugh and walk past him and go to the door and open the door. (laughs) (laughs) (sighs) Well. Boss, you good? Hey, it's uh, it's safe for everybody to come back in here. Okay. Everybody, it's all safe. Let's go. How are you doing, Roshin? That's a. Uh, that's when you hear. Ah, Jack, what is this? Oh, she must be hungry. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a nice bus. Thank this you very nice. much. Welcome to my bus, Vex. Thank you. Yeah, it's 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 nice. So um, it is. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, Agent Silver Fox is still alive. Shadow. Oh, Silver Fox. Shadow Fox. Thanks. I don't know a silver fox. Sorry. Except Agent maybe Shadow from a comic fox. book or two. Right? Agent Shadow Fox is still alive. Uh, she is currently crawling through a dark, uh, dry, enclosed space. Maybe a tunnel. Maybe a, maybe a uh, air conditioning vent. Or a grave. Pro- no. There's a light at the end of the, 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 the... She's crawling toward a light. Can't be a new, could be an open grave. Um, then she wouldn't need that's to be a very crawling. long, that's a very long open grave, and it's enclosed. It's totally dark, and it's daylight right now. Uh, yeah, sounds like something she might. T- I, I really don't know her. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Well, she could be in some rafters. So you know, I, I have a question for you. You said you had to stash away your stuff. How did you end up stashing it away in Agent Beaudry's car without her knowing? So I've got. Abilities? That's the best way to describe it. So you say. So I quickly hit it. Okay. Yeah, she you know, pointed the glasses some at me. Know how to pick locks. Oh, it's it's not that complicated. I just ripped a hole in space time and put it there and. It's kind of like it's kind of like me doing this, and he pulls, starts to pull out his sword. Oh no, it's nothing at all like that. Really? Yeah, no, no, no. Mine goes through a nice, pleasant dimension. Oh, I had a friend that could do that. What? Let's just say there's a reason that my sword is all aglow when people see it, and oh, you guys are not going to. I've never seen it. This. Um. Yeah. Right. Sorry. Vex, you should know um, that uh, that uh, uh, Jonah has a has a thing about magic. He doesn't the believe in it. it. Oh no no no! I'm, it's not magic. I'm an alien. What? <laughs> you know, for somebody that's already met an alien or two, you're very dense about aliens. A bit. Yes. yes. Oh, Maya? Maya was an alien. That was her thing. Should not have said that. Anyway, so... Wait, who else was an alien? alien. You're an alien? Let's Hello. just say I can, <laughs> I can do certain things. She looks around. She smiles. She sees a, um, your teapot that's in the kitchen area. And she goes like this, and it flies over to her. Into her hand. See? Oh, by the way, here's the teapot. All right. Oh, time to, time to go to my truck. Uh, I'll talk to you guys in a couple of days. Uh, just let me know if you need anything. Yeah, I need you to not be a little bitch. <laughs> You're such a chicken mm. shit. 
You know, it's not. It's not magic. Yeah, it sure looks like magic to me. No, no, that's telekinesis. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She did it with so, a magnet. No, no, I did it with my mind. Oh. Okay. Magnet. Where, where's, where was magnet? For his feeble mind, it'd be a magnet. It's hidden in a suit. Your suit's magnetic? Yeah, and resistant to fire. See? Oh, that's cool. Okay. Let's see it again. Okay. Here, you want to set that teapot down over there? Yes. I'll take it. I just, I just want to see how it works. Wait, okay. how, is, is it a strong enough magnet that if I just gave it a toss? It's, it's oh, a yeah, yeah, that should work. And I'll give it a toss. <laughs> oh, that's impressive. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before. It's, it's here. Um, a try talent. It, try it with this. He tosses his sword. <laughs> She's good. And she... I mean, it's a magnet. Yeah. She hands it back. <laughs> She's like, uh-uh. <laughs> Thinks better of what she was about to do. John, toss it to I'll him. I'll just, I'll just give a, a quick wink out of sight of uh, Jonah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hard to tell what's going on when you're wearing glasses. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So. Um. Just try not to use any of those magnets on me when I'm flat. Okay. Oh, I wouldn't. That'd be cheating. Yeah. So. Uh, Jonas, Jonas, <laughs> Jonas. But, Jonah, wouldn't you want her to have the magnets on so that your bullets can... Why would I be shooting her? So, how some people fight? What? In our fight, you couldn't hit anything John. with your fists. Um, at this point, uh... uh do I think it would be wise to go back to the, the parking garage and look for the buildings that uh, that have uh, potential spots for us? Shadow Fox to hide? Um, yeah, uh, that's, a, that's a possibility. Where were you and her supposed to meet in mean, Shadow Fox? Uh, well, we were going to meet um, where Agent Beaudry was last seen because she was missing. That's so why we got called in. Because that's what we do. So, we find missing people. All right then. Um, I guess we'll. Uh, Casper's missing. I guess we'll try and go back to the parking garage. Man, those 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 those, those, those driving services are making a, a ton of money off of us. Can you teleport? <laughs> are you sure you want to do that right now and not wait until after everybody else gets back from Why? what they were doing? Do you guys drive? Mm -hmm. Huh? Why do you guys drive around? I mean, sorry. do you see where we're at? We're in a bus. Yeah, no, you're right. I'm sorry. I'm you just have traveling abilities, don't you? A little bit. Like what? I can walk. There. Here, put this on. She hands you a blindfold. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> but first, we have to have tea. Oh yeah, 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 that's fine. Make the tea. And she goes to the, the kettle on. She goes to the door to the bathroom in the bus, <laughs> mm -hmm. and she just puts her hand on the door, and you see it ripple, and suddenly nice. you see like a blue ripple go across it, uh, a, like a light blue. As as it does, you see the parking garage, and then the ripple I like goes that. away. Do I hear you? No, okay. it's soundless. You don't even know what's happening. It's Correct. soundless. I like And none that. of the sound from the other side comes through. Yes, I know, but like the street That's noises, things like that. <clears throat> well, it's a lot better than... Okay, you can take mirror. that off now. <laughs> oh, I know, right? Those mirrors are just crazy. Wait, what was that about a mirror? Don't worry about it. We had just talked about how we have one. Do, uh, wait, wait. How do you have one? Oh, uh, poker game. Pulled it out and poker game. And I'm looking at it. We were playing poker with Steve. I mean, it's a mirror. Yeah, it's it's one of his. It's, uh, Steve's. Oh, those creep me out. Creep me out why. too. Mm. Yeah. 
I prefer, we try, we try not to I, I prefer my way of, of traveling over that. Yes, I, I can understand that. I mean, walking is a hell of a lot better than this. Yes, mm-hmm. we're, we're going to walk there after tea. Hey, you know, but that might help. Mm-hmm. What? Can I see your mirror? No. Give okay, her the well, mirror. Let, let me check something. Come on, let the pretty lady see your mirror. Shade, yeah. Does he... Does she have... One of those gifts Steve gave us when we joined. Yeah, the thing that I refused outright. Yeah, does she have one of those? No? Damn. Okay, never mind. Okay, never mind. I don't need it. Huh? Don't worry about it. You might hurt your brain. I was thinking that if she had one that maybe... We could talk to her? Or... Grab her? Steve could help. Does that Mm. make sense? Pulled back out. Just I don't know enough <laughs> about the subject for it to make any sense. I pull it back out and just kind of like do a mental side of everything I have. What do you drink with your jasmine tea? Just tea? Just Would the tea? People usually just Would drink you for the whole ceremony? No, it's fine. Just, just the tea would be good. It's been a while since I've had some. Hey, Steve. Packets okay? Or, or would you prefer it loose? What? Hey, uh, I got a question for you. So you okay. hand these mirrors out quite a lot, right? No, not a lot. Just occasionally. Did you ever hand it out to... A, what was the name again? Shadow Fox. Shadow Fox? A girl named Shadow Fox by chance? Um, I've given a mirror to someone named Shadow Fox. But I think there have been a few of them. There's been a few Shadow Foxes? Yeah. She might Hold have on. Had, Let me check. She might have had a fancy looking pistol. Oh yeah, I gave mine to Shadow Fox, the third lady that used that name. Did they all have a fancy looking pistol? No, I think she had a fancy looking, I don't know, car. I think she had a car. Fancy looking car? Yeah. Does that mean anything to you? I'm just saying that to her now. No, I really know nothing about Shadow Fox, other than she's like short, blonde hair, or Mm -hmm. white hair, blue eyes. Does she, does he? Does everybody hear what he's saying, or is it just me? Just you. Just me, okay. Um, well, I'm just and kidding. you. <laughs> I didn't know just you was, two. I didn't know I'm not even bothering to listen to his conversation yeah. this time. Um, so, uh, he says that there's like multiple shadow foxes that he's met? I guess. But he says the one he's given his mirror to had a fancy car instead of a fancy gun. I know nothing about Shadow Fox, really. I mean, uh, if it, I know we're part of the same organ, but anyway, I don't know. Steve, do you mind just trying to reach out to her just to see if she answers, and if she does, just let me know. Um, if she answers, I'll be worried. Why? She's dead. We could have led without Steve. Oh, you didn't ask. <laughs> He has a point. <laughs> <laughs> He's got Anyways, do you like it uh, loose or in a bag? Loose. Preferred. Thank you. Oh, by the way, Steve, uh, how's the interrogation going? Interrogation? Yeah, with... Uh, oh. was, it, was it Predator? Yeah. yeah. Um, predator? I'm not doing that. I dropped him off. Oh, so Windows doing that? I think so. Gotcha. I turned him over and then I went home. You're not even working right now? I'm working on clearing a level. Okay. <laughs> Bye, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Put my thing back in my pocket. Oh, he's doing great. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what a nice guy. Yeah, he's pretty dense, isn't he? Yes, you are. <laughs> That's not a nice thing to say about that. He oh, said it no, about no, no, no. It's a mark of pride for Steve. Oh, yeah, no, I know. I I get it. Yeah. He, he says he's dense. No, no, no. He gets dense. He gets dense. And he does. He gets very dense. And heavy. Can't move him when he gets dense like that. Nope. So the tea. Hmm? So the tea. Yeah, yeah. I'm it's still like, waiting on the water to boil. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, the water boils. Wait, he can get that dense? Yeah, a couple tons. Well, actually, not for it to boil, but for the kettle to go. I don't know. 
So like that mirror, I don't ask. Certain things I don't want to know. You don't ask and he doesn't tell. Interesting, interesting. Pretty much. All right, well, I'm going to go back to my truck, and you guys just let me know when you need me. I'm going to stay there until maybe a few days. So you're not staying with us? That's people. Oh, but what if we need your help to uh, find and get uh, uh, Shadow Fox? How does he get dense? Nobody knows. He doesn't even know. He just says he's dense. Uh, probably the same way Jonah. that I can get uh, more difficult to move. Jonah, go have a drink. That It'll calm you down. With was, the right martial arts only. training, you can make yourself very sturdy. Only one drink, not multiple. True. No, the, True that. The plan Just was to one. Drink. The plan was to drink. Just one drink to settle your nerves. It was to drink. All right. You really check. need to work on that. Yeah, it's a piss buzzer. Okay. <laughs> Only <laughs> one can. But I'm already in the truck. Oh. I'm drinking my piss buzzer. Okay. <clears throat> All of my piss buzzer. <laughs> What do you guys do? We are having tea. You guys are having tea. She's drinking it happily. So am I. I'm in the truck drinking this one. Okay. With a dash of mint in it. Crazy. Cat people. Nobody understands it. <laughs> so, yeah. He doesn't see it. Um, this is true. No, but he can smell it. Probably. And it's... Why do you drink catnip? It's not catnip, it's mint. Yeah, it might as well be, though. I mean, you keep it in the same container. I don't have any catnip. Really? It smells really? like catnip. I haven't had any of that for years. Mm. Maybe it's just my mind playing tricks on me. We're trying to get him off the drugs. Yeah, it's good, because <laughs> even mint, man, he's probably going to be rolling around, like, batting at his tails, putting it in his mouth. I haven't done that for months. He didn't deny it. <laughs> He's not there. Playing with something the other day. Oh, well, right, these chains. This, uh, I forgot that I had these on. You were playing with these the other day. But it had any mint in me either. Uh, the, uh, is the tea done? Yeah. Oh, hey. I forgot um, I had these. Jonah. <laughs> Jonah walked out. Oh. He's drinking piss off in his truck. Yeah, because uh, Steve gets dense, really dense. I tried explaining that anybody can uh, get dense um, by yeah. posturing and. Yeah, no, he was having none of that. So what do you guys right, mindset do? Point. I, I, I'm I fight people. Yeah, but are you a normal fighter, or well, do you fight them in other ways? She's hitting on you. I'm blind, I mean, not stupid. Obviously, he's a pussy. And Rawr. you're a preacher. Mm -hmm. What can you guys do? Well, uh, I uh, don't recently miss. we just uh, uh, made our associations with us. It seems like fate took a, took a hand and uh, uh, we ran afoul of uh, uh, an individual named Silhouette. And Predator. Oh, and Whirlwind. Oh, and Team whirlwind. Six. And so, uh, uh, we, uh... Six? Four. Six. Four. Team Four. Uh, we captured Predator. Uh, drove off Whirlwind. I don't know where he went. Um, well, you... Huh? Who did he kill? Which one of you? None. None. He tried to kill me. Almost succeeded. I ripped three robots apart and killed them each. I killed them with each other. Yeah, those would be the Belial guards. So, so We've met Silhouette, so, um, Whirlwind, Dangerous, and Predator. Oh, you met see. Dangerous? Yes. So anyway... She was hot, huh? Yes. I hate that bitch. Anyways, uh, it seems that uh, through no fault of our own, we have uh, uh, taken to foiling some of the Belial's uh, uh, dastardly plan. She has a very shocking personality, too. I guess. She's a bitch. I don't know. I didn't meet either of them. You're not there. So, so Team not, 4. No, team 4, right? Yes. They're Team 4. They're not Team 6. So you didn't They're, meet the Flamers. No. no. Okay. 
No flame in it. Okay. But uh, um, we are, uh, are, we are rescued. Are we allowed to call people that? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we uh, we rescued uh, Agent Bacon. I think. Anyway, do we carry Ganja with them? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kick you off this <laughs> damn bus, cat. <laughs> Sorry. So uh, yeah, uh, we've. Uh, I would officially have taken to following uh, Belial's uh, plans. Okay. So, I'm only here until I can find Shadow Fox, because she's a teammate and she's missing, and we find missing people. And because it sounds like you've already found the person that I was told to come and find. Well, yeah, she, she might be meeting us pretty soon if you want to talk to her. I could care less. I'm just, I was here to find her. She's found. That's all I care about. Oh. You sound so concerned f- about your teammate. Well, let's go. She's a colleague. She's not on my team. Now, if it was, if it was Blade or Rune, but she's your. I'd be worried about it. Partner right now, isn't she? Yeah, it, like I said, I'm here to find her, and then that's then I'm out of here. My apologies. Mm. Well, um, let's get back to the parking garage. She might, she might be hiding in one of those uh, access vans. So, why do you think she'd be in an accent? I saw it. Oh, so you're like one of those boo psychic people. Oh, I prefer it to be called the power of God, but yeah. Okay. Question She, she gets a determined look on her face. This is okay, that's better. Question for you. If I described a book for you, could you find it for me? I'd find missing people? But what, what are you talking about? It's a longbow that compresses itself, pulls up to a little bar about that big. Okay, so what's so special about that? It was a gift from a friend. Oh, so you want to find that specific one, you don't want it replaced? Yes. Oh. And the friend is also missing. Oh, well that sucks. Well yeah, you get with my... Uh, I guess you couldn't. You can go through the proper channels. And if my team gets selected, I'd be more than happy to help you find your missing friend. But you have to go to the proper channels, otherwise I don't get paid. I understand that. So when you say fight people in other ways? Um, so some people use their mind. Some people have special abilities. I usually drink so that I don't. Some people can take their arm off and beat other people with it. Just as a as an aside, you know. I I Did you usually do that s- once? no. I ripped off somebody's leg and then I beat somebody else with that leg, not my own. Some people can hear real good. I can hear real good. Some people, you know, they just have special abilities. I'm blind. Yeah, I got that. And you're a fighter. Correct. Okay. Ranger. Pussycat. Roar. I can, I can call upon the power of God. Okay. And Jono just hits real hard. Okay. So I'm a, I'm I'm well trained in martial arts, uh, and a lot of other things. I can create things. I can telekinetic or move things just in case you need help. Hmm. Good to know. I, so you, I assume I can you would hide want real a well. serious fight. Hmm? I assume you would want a serious fight? Skilled fight. Yeah, not abilities because I'd kill you and I don't want to kill you. Can I remind you? I mean, even without my sword, I'd chop your head right off. Of course. But can if he's only here long enough for that, I mean... Oh. Do you, have you taken a lock into her and you want to prolong this? this she wanted to fight me first. Well, I was just, you know, it's it's a thing. You're a fighter, I'm a fighter. You look skilled. Maybe enough. Well, the longer we take chit chatting, the longer the enemies so, might. Uh, please, let's well, we can get Shadow Fox first, Shadow but Fox. then. Why sure, don't? I'll fight you after we find my colleague. Fantastic. Uh, so I was wanted to just call it Bill Center because I've noticed he's been gone. Yep. 
Uh, call him up. We'll try to. Higher low? Hi. And that goes right to voicemail. Hey, Bill. Just uh, wondering where all the normal people are at. <laughs> just hoping you can send me some bills. Let me know when you come by. Or... Hey, Bill. I'm lonely. Come over. <laughs> 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 My preacher ain't home. <laughs> Let me know... Uh, yeah, let me know when you get this, I guess. I don't know what you guys are doing or why you guys are taking so long, but getting kind of worried. I'm kind of, uh, kind of scared over here. I'm just saying. Just saying. Dog, it's time. All right, man. See you later. <laughs> Click. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> Rafa, I'm really hoping you tuned in for that one. <laughs> oh, please. I hope so. Wow. Okay. All sorts of loneliness. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. All sorts of loneliness. Uh-huh. You, know, you know, I bet you Jonah is the, the type of person that that uh, when they first started around the truth of dare, and they took the dare, and the dare was, I dare you to go home. Probably. <laughs> so, um... We could also, I mean, you said parking garage. Mm-hmm. We could search there. We could also maybe try the place that I slipped out of. I didn't see her, in the, but I wasn't looking for her either. Does that make sense? Could you also? Could we also check the roof across from the parking garage? Check wherever you want. Let's uh, let's. Uh, How do you guys want to travel? I mean, I could even like fly. Let's do the parking to. garage first, and then the place where you were trapped. Okay. Now your friend that doesn't like. Powered abilities or aliens, it kind of freaks out. How do he we want to do here. this? He is, he is officially sulking for a day or two. That seems to be his pattern. I mean, we could have a helicopter. Too obvious. You mean, what do you mean, a helicopter? Too obvious. I mean, like, I could, we could, like, go up in a helicopter and fly there. Too noisy. Oh no! It'd be why? Soundless. Why? We're oh, being, those? We're being obvious. We are. Well, I mean, we, he would probably hear sound. I guess. We are with How well does he hear? Not very. So not as good as you. Correct. Okay. There aren't too many that can hear as well as him. I mean, I'm just blind. It's nothing do you, special. Do you, can you summon a helicopter? There's one outside now. What? Looks out the window. <laughs> <laughs> you just look out the window, there's a, a dark blue helicopter, like a t- Bell Texas Ranger, sitting out there. Did I hear anything? No, you did not. All of Blue Thunder? And it's and it's it's a really big Bell Texas Ranger, it's like one of those corporate ones that'll seat like eight people. Do All I right, let's it? go via helicopter. Roll. Dude, you're drinking, man. Doesn't mean I won't see I mean, I'm no, in the it's, cabin. It's, um, 13 now. Um, it's on the other side of the bus. So yeah. your truck's here, the bus is here, and it's over there. Yeah. Well, so I, hey, let's get in there. Okay. Is let's this all this. a blue thunder or a, a blue thunder black thunder and white a single-seater helicopter? Yeah, blue thunder was a single-seater. This is like a, a corporate Bell. Uh, I shouldn't say Bell Texas Ranger. It's it's a it's a corporate helicopter eight-seater. Or is this kind of like, I'm thinking, another sci-fi show? Oh, yeah, no. Uh, it's 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 really nice. It looks like a standard corporate helicopter. Looks I'm amazing. I'm on the, the door of the trailer. All dark blue paint. The tractor trailer. You mean the truck? The tractor trailer. Yeah, that's yeah. what it's called, tractor trailer. You hear a knock on the door. Well, like, you're coming or not, we got a helicopter. We do? Oh, you idiot. No, Look on the other side of the truck. Put my head out. <laughs> so as you guys start to, to leave the bus, you know, as, you know she goes, oh, I'll take, I'm leave this here. And she takes off her robe. Okay, let's go. That is very scandalous. Up. Poking my head out of the truck, do I then, then see the helicopter? Yeah, so as you come out of the truck and you walk, you'd have to get out of your truck, walk around the bus, okay. and then you'd see the helicopter. Do you always disrobe before going places? Uh, this is, uh, she, she taps her suit, and you hear a thunk, thunk. This is really sturdy material. It's, I'm, I'm wearing a bodysuit. Would I have been carrying this material? Or? Nope. Never seen it before Ivan? in your life. No. He said, would I have? Oh, I thought you said Ivan. I heard would <laughs> Ivan have seen this material? Yeah, Ivan maybe. Oh. Hey, they're waiting for Ivan to show back up. This he's is not just, going to. This is my standard issue bodysuit. Okay. I heard you correct. 
<laughs> hey, Shuggy <laughs> did. Too. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you guys go out and you see the helicopter. She gets in the pilot seat. How did that even come here? Oh, I, I asked someone to, to deliver it. FBI is secret technology. Well, Stealth capability. Government stuff, top secret, can't tell you. Okay. Well, let's get in. Yeah. And she... He hops in a shotgun. So are there, are there, roll perception roll. So there's a dra- pilot seat. Yeah, she's in the, the pilot seat, 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 and he hops in the co-pilot 18. seat. 18. No, and then you guys are all in the back. Too slow. Okay. I, I assume she's 18. helping guide me to yeah, yeah. this helicopter that yeah. I don't know exists. Yeah, she she take. Okay, here's a step up. There you go. It's, it feels solid. It's it feels like a helicopter. Um, nothing strange. Nothing strange. <laughs> the doors close. It all seems right. Um, so you you notice that there's a. You get in. There's no switches. No buttons. There's like a panel. There, there's an altimeter and stuff, but there's no switches or buttons. He looks at there's her. There's no, no joystick. Noted. No joystick. She's, oh, yeah. And you see one just sort of crawl up out of nowhere. Okay. Everyone ready? Oh, Julie yeah. noted. And she reaches yeah. up, and, and you guys hear click, click as the switches and Am I seeing her appear. actually click anything? Yeah, yeah. She goes like this, and you suddenly see a switch there. <laughs> and you hear the, the engine slowly start. This is all for show for him. And then it takes off. Within the cab, within the helicopter, you hear a... (laughs) You notice it's coming from directly above him. (laughs) 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 And you guys take off. He's just smiling. (laughs) I don't think he's ever been in the helicopter before. (laughs) This is weird. This is... This is Jonah, <laughs> Jonah, there's why don't you look belts. out the window? You know, there's seatbelts. This is all right. Why don't you look out the window and watch the ground go by? And you guys go flying towards parking garage. the parking garage, and that is where we're going to leave it tonight, guys. So mm-hmm. thank you for watching. Again, and a quick shout-out to Epic Worlds and Games. Hey, Jimmy. Appreciate all that you do and look forward to doing more with you in the future. Um, Goth Mom. We'll be getting in contact with you and getting you the information needed if you're watching. If you're not watching, well, just wasted that shout out. I'm, <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. She's a she's a sponsor, nothing's wasted. Um, Don't forget about Chuck. Epic uh, Endearing for Films. Yourself. Endearing Films. Uh, thank you, Chuck. You need Epic Films? Appreciate that. <laughs> epic Films? Epic, epic Endearing films, films and Games. And games. What? And during games. Uh, and during games. Four Eyes Ales, thank you very much. During Four Eyes Ales, I need uh, evidently more of your beer because I'm not remembering things Epic correctly. Games. So thank you uh, and thank you to the sponsors. We appreciate that. Thank you to our uh, subscribers. That that means a lot to us. Uh, just to let you guys know, uh, we did recently um, find some of the subscriber money that is going to pick us pick up some stuff some gear for the studio we'll talk we'll let you guys know more about that later probably in chat or on patreon and uh everyone else uh, viewers thank you for watching glad you guys could join if you guys are just jumping in here on the 13th episode remember on youtube we have more and we'll see you next week and we will see you on Thursday for those of you watching it for Fortune Favors the board. Normally this is where Rafa would jump in, so as Rafa in training you two. Um, <laughs> and for everyone else I haven't been on Thursdays in a while because of my new schedule. Thursdays and, at eight thirty. And for, for everyone else that is only here for our four D, like you should be. I mean, um, <laughs> we'll see you on Saturday. Or Sunday. Saturday. You know the day. See you 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 got me going, I'm laughing. See you Sunday. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>